We have seen the color knot you presented to us uh, and you have broken it. So, this is yours. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, I told my daughter that you people came the other day and you said you will come again today. But this uh, moment she went to fetch water and I'm sure she will join us shortly. Okay, yes, thank you. Um, <clears throat> Bible says that whatever a dog sees and going to catch, that thing must be very important to the dog. Yeah. So we are waiting. Yes. Thank you. Oh, here she comes. No, no. Good evening. Good evening. Well done. Such a piece of kit. Hey, You're welcome. These are the people that I told you that came to look for you the other time. They are back again today. The people you said came to ask for my hand in marriage. Exactly. Welcome, sir. Um, please, um, which of you is here to marry me? I came earlier. Actually, my name is Emmanuel Udeokwe, and this is my father, Udeokwe. I live in Europe. I want you to be my father's wife because my mother is no more and um, I'm not always around. He needs someone who can help him do the cooking um, once in a while, warm his bed. <laughs> He's a good guy and a retired principal. <laughs> we have everything you need yes. and we will help you train your daughter for you. But the truth of the matter is um, <clears throat> You are a, a second-hand value. And we just want to help your life and that of your unwanted daughter. You want to help my life or you have come to mock me? You just called me a second-hand value. And you say you're here to help me. And you local hustler, you brought your outdated cancerous growing father to come and ask for my hand in marriage. You know what? I am just going to go into my father's house. I will do you a favor, giving you some minutes to get out of this place because if I go inside and come back here, if I meet any of you here, if I meet any of you here, Mama, you sit down here. You sat down here and allowed this old man to ask for my hand in marriage. This man old enough to be my father, you had to sit down here and listen to everything he had to say. The man like the first girl who had a child at home. And this old fool had the guts to call me in second hand value. And you just sat down here and you did nothing about it. This man old enough to be my father. To come and ask for my hand in marriage. Just stay
descendants of the devil. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? The stream you were coming from is the same stream I left hours ago. And when I was leaving, I told you to follow me immediately. You stayed back there to play with your friends, right? You this 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 little witch that disgusts me so much. It's because of you. It's because of you that old miserable man had the guts to come here and spit rubbish. I swear to God, I will kill you in this house. I will continue to beat you until the day you die. my daughter what is your business eh? I'm asking you what is your business old witch you see this little girl I will kill her I will make sure I kill her and there is nothing you will do so if you know what is good for you don't stick your two left legs and take it back to your house because if you don't two seconds is all I give to you if not we will see ourselves on the ground and when I say we are on the ground I swear to God I will beat you blue black I will kill you in Apuala Ijoma are you talking to me like this? Because I'm stopping you from beating your own child, Jonah. Okay, come and touch her. Oh, come and touch her. Hey, hey. hey you want to come and touch her. Hey. You want to see what I do? Come and touch her, Jonah. You want to see what yes. I do? Yes. Hey, you run. 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 What kind of stupid girl is that? She must be a beast. Is that how Emmanuel wants me to die before my time to send me to my early grave? You are the one that said you wanted a young wife. And we started looking for one and we found her. Mba! This one will send me to my grave. Should we find another one or you rest? How will I rest when my body is still active? Or do you want me to experience prostrate before my time? A man's manhood should be working until his death. When your son comes back, remove since you are a Jackie. Amarachi, what are you doing here? I slept outside. You slept where? Outside. No, it can't be. What did you do? I did not do anything. She started calling me bad luck and calling me a witch. Mama, is it you and me witch? No! You are not any bad luck, you are not any witch. Not at all. I, if I had known, I would have taken you to the uh, uh, vigil. Come, 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 come here. Ijoma! Ijoma! Stand here! Nothing is happening. Ijoma! Ijoma, be telling me. You are on nine months. Out in the cold? Can I be hiding your conscience? Where did you hide your conscience? Let me tell you, you are a living corpse. Because your conscience is dead. Nonsense! Let me tell you. If anything happens to this girl, you will have me to contend with. It will be better that you were not born 
Di daga cho won ta kire acha fun re ya. Ehun dia. Nonsense. Nonsense. Ese se diye ka wo. Ese diye ka wo. Ni won ni fa na e me. Um, Papa, there's another woman someone told me at Iseki. I'll be going there tomorrow to see how she is. Wait, did you call her a woman? Yes, Papa. They say she should be around 40 years. Wait, and you want to go and see her? Of course. Uh, what for? Did I tell you that I want a woman of that age bracket? What I want is a young and vibrant girl that will take care of me at this my old age. My own case <laughs> should not be an exception. What of Abraham of old? He gave birth to Isaac at his old age. I want to have a brother for you, my son. Papa, no matter what, it will be very difficult to see a girl that will agree to marry you at this age. My son, you don't have to tell me that. You have all what it takes to get a young girl for me to marry. That is not even the problem. The point here is, I don't want all this boy to take your wife away from you when I must have gone back to Europe. Is it the, these young, the, the Indomie boys? Pure water boys that have lots of sugar in their system? Are they as strong and energetic as I am? You should get me a wife and go back to Europe, my son. I can do it in 24 hours a day. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> 24 hours a day I can still do it. All uh, night long. This my own sister on this. It's alright. I guess we should look for that. You better do, because you have all it takes to get them. Hey, hey! Are you mad? Eh? Did you not see me? You little witch that will not just sleep and die in your sleep. You are a frustration to my life. You are bad luck. Why don't you just, just sleep and not wake up? So listen. If I hear you open your mouth and wake up mother that is sleeping, I swear I will kill you. Stand up from there and continue sweeping. Go over there. No, no, I'm merely kakakwa. Be, 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 Another person will accept it. So don't you think I'm going to be a bad man? Eh? Can you tell me what you want to say? Are you mad? Eh? Get away! So you're sitting and eating you. Bastard! Just, 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 just keep, keep, keep me to, to, to ruin my life! Don't spoil my day. I'm a Rachi. What happened to my plate? I am asking you! Come here yeah, when I'm talking to you! What happened to my plate? Mm, mommy, I broke who is it. Your, who is your mother? It's just eh? a mistake! Where did you go? I'm talking to you! Stand up! Stand up! Who is your mother? Stand here! Stand here! Who is your mother? You broke my plate and you could not tell me. You will stay here and act like I'm the one suffering you and people will think I'm the one maltreating you. Not knowing that you're the one giving me a headache. But before you kill me, I will kill you. Mommy! Mommy! Come on! Just 
Just kneel down here. Kneel down here if you move an inch. Eh? If you move an inch, I swear I will kill you. A child does that requires beating. Please let her be. Mommy, I'm sorry. Did I hear you call? Did I hear you call me mother? It's your ma. Did you just hear her? She said she's sorry for crying out loud. She's your own flesh and blood. She did not commit any crime by choosing you to be a mother. No matter the way she came. It's your ma. I'm begging you. Please stop beating her. Hey, hey, hey. Chief Judge of our Federation. And see where we're going. You go. You get that? You watch go. Are you done? Every day you will leave your house. I don't know. I don't know if you smell fight. You will be in your house. You will smell fight and come here to come and settle case on your okay? Who called you into this matter? And who now give you the right to teach me how to train my own daughter? My own child, Biko! I am begging you, carry yourself and leave this place. I don't want us to have issues. Just carry yourself and leave this place. As for you, I will kill you. Yeah. Ijoma, Ijoma, just, just stop it. As far as I'm concerned, Amarachi is also my daughter. <laughs> and there's nothing you do about it. Don't touch her again. As for this cane, I'm going with it. Uh -huh. Yes! Go on. Yeah, go on, I'm not done talking. You want to go with cane? If you want to go with the cane, Gawa, it's not a problem. They sell cane in the market, I'll buy a dozen. As for you, if you don't finish this plate, if I come outside and meet you, still clinging onto this little witch, I will kill you. Ijoma! I'm finished washing the plates. Where's my food? My God, I can't I can't get here. Where is my food? Put it back where you are now. Me turn that from Kaduna that has no reverse. Fire that your mouth there. You want to fight? I should come and get fight for you. As your maid, eh? Me listen to me. There is no food for you in this house. So if you know what is good for you, go into the house, take a cup of water, drink it, and go to bed. Idiot. Mommy, but I've not eaten since last night. And my tummy is pain. Look at mama. It is better your tummy aches you. Let it ache you to death. Let your tummy ache you and you die. You will not just die and let me have my peace. And let me be. Idiot. You are looking for food. You want to eat food. Eat food. Eat food. I want to eat food that will kill you. Idiot. Stupid. Listen. If I close my eyes and open it and I see you standing there, I will kill you. Get out! Mommy, please. Oh, say, please. Oh, let me. Oh, Are you mad? Now, Paula! Idiot. Just bring bring frustration to my life. You will not just. Just die and leave me alone. Which? Emma, I do not blame you. Tell me what is the need of a wife if not to look after him and cook for him? Hmm? Your father is an old man, an old man, and no reasonable young woman will agree to marry him. Get that? The problem is that he don't need an old woman. Because he's still a child. I won't support that. I will not. Okay. Since your father need a child, get married and give him a child. Or are you not old enough to have a wife and a son? Eh? I have a white woman who has a daughter for me. 
but I don't have papers yet. So I can't bring her home without getting my papers. Being an only child has been the issue for me. I really need a wife for my own mom. Okay. I will call someone and ask of a particular girl who had two kids at home. That one should be interested. Or what do you think? Good. Okay, see what will happen, eh? Do check. Then um, come back to me. Let me see what I can do. Uh, I've really stayed and I want to go back. Okay? No problem. But in a cohort, but it's not for free. <laughs> <laughs> Kora, that won't be a problem, okay? Trust okay. me. Okay. No I really have to do and go back. Thank God I met you here. I want to tell you something. What is it? Mama, honestly, I don't like your daughter's behavior towards that little girl. She wants to kill her. And you are not saying or doing anything about it. Says who? Udoka. 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 I am a helpless woman. So helpless. Do you know how many times C. Joma pushed me down to the ground just because I wanted to defend Amaraj? Do you know? If my son was alive, he would have taken Amaraj out of that house because that is what I want. For someone to take Amaraj out of my house to help me save the life of that child, the only prayer I am saying for Jama, my daughter, is this. That God will touch her heart. To understand that that child is a blessing to her. Not a cause. Every child is a blessing. No matter how that child came. That is the truth. The whole matter about it, Jama, got worse. When Emmanuel Udekwe came to marry her for his aged father. I have invited our pastor and few elders of the church to come and talk to her. They came home. But do you know what? She nearly broke their heads. Umu mwado bo sondofa. Oku ije omu ikwere oku. Udoka, please, if there's anything you can help me to do in this matter, if there's any way you can fight it, Joma, give it back to her. Please help me. I need help. Mama, it is true that sometimes I, I hear you shouting at Ijoma to leave the little girl alone. But please warn her. Because the next time she will touch that girl or uses anything like stick on her, she will have me to contend with. Because warn her, Mama. Just warn her. Because Biko can help me. Now, I went to see Mama Chikode. Her daughter is sick. Maybe by the time I will get to the house, she has killed her. I'm, all, I'm always afraid to move out of my house or to go anywhere without that girl. That's the problem. I'm always in fear. Ha! Mama, it's okay. Ah, that reminds me. Did you say that Udekwe shamelessly asked for Ijoma's and the marriage? This is a story for another day or another time. After you come to my house, I will tell you how it is. Gandaba Godi. Okay, Mama, take care. Mama, Mama, what is it? Ene? Eh? She did not give me food yesterday and this morning. 
you will not die. Say amen. Amen. Amarachi, I said you will never die. Say amen. Amen. Don't worry. I bought akara for you. Oh, you will eat akara now and still eat your food. You know go. This belly will fool. You know go. What's going on? Follow your grandmother. I don't understand what is going on in this I don't know why all these old men will not put their long run in tea and rest. Imagine Mazudebe. He is looking for a young girl to define. Or in the name of, he is looking for a young girl to marry. Here you are, my dear friend, looking for husband. Clara, who does not know that Mazudeko is a good man? Has he not tried? He lost his wife about 20 years ago and he single handedly nurtured his son simply because he does not want a problem. And his mates got married to a movie star. Guess what? Heaven did not fall. And his son has made money, he has built a house for him. <laughs> He's a retired school teacher, still earning his pension. So? Hey! I'm going to go to So, my dear friend, Oluchi, if I ask you now, you will marry a man of his age, and you see nothing wrong with it. Hmm? Don't be deceived, my friend. Age is just a number. Mm. If he had approached me, I would have searched my conscience. If we agree, we move. Yeah? He said what? Move from where to where? Eh? You and who? Me and my conscience. It is his life. Uh -huh. I had a drama insulted the man and his son. All because he came for her. Why did she not quietly say no? Than causing nuisance. She has a daughter, yes. And the man must have gone to help her and her daughter too. Why was she not acting up? He said what? That here you say help. Eh? Let me ask you, what type of help would an old man like Mazu Dekwe lend her to a young beautiful girl like Ijoma and her daughter? No problem, no. since he is looking for people to help, he owns a charity organization. Let him go to church and marry those aspired women who still claim to be youth in the church while they have overgone mini pos. Oluchi, you know what I'm saying. No. Yeah. I beg you in the name of God, don't ever refer to my church again. Because you are not a Catholic. Everybody have a belief. A girl that has given birth is a sure game than the one that has not. Huh? As such, the old man needs a sure game. If you know, you know. <laughs> uh, please, I want to go and cut grass for my mother. Mm. I beg to be excused. No problem. I don't blame myself. I blame myself mm -mm. for wasting my time. I don't know marriage, marriage, marriage. Yes. Oh, Come here, move here. Come and stand here. Unyala, what is this? I am asking you, what is this? I asked you to go and buy me chairs bread. You went out there to buy what? Ola. Onye is Mommy, but you said I should buy this one. <laughs> hey! So now I'm a liar. You look at me in the face and call me a liar. Eh? Mm. Eh? Okay, my God, we allow it. 
I will kill this frustration that came into my life. This little devil! And I asked you to go and buy me simple bread. You went out there to get me something else. Eh? You're hiding behind mama. Oh, you will die today. I will kill you! You're boy. You're boy. You're not ashamed of yourself. You sent her to go and buy bread. Can't you go and buy it yourself? Mama, mama, mama Biko, Biko, please. I am begging you. Just stay on your lane. Don't interfere in this issue. I didn't call you. She is my child. I will train her the way I want to train her. Uh, if I want to flog her to death, I will flog her to death. Hey, for As for you. any business of yours? Huh? How is this any business of yours? Do you realize you're speaking to the Prince of Omocheke? <laughs> Chief Judge of the Federation. Mayik Bama. And who says I don't know it's you? Of course I know who you are. But you do not have any right to interfere how people treat others. You don't. I Can see. I have my child? I know your kind. You say this is not my business? Of course it is not your business. I know how to treat your kind. You're a heartless woman. Who is this little girl? Who is she to you? She's my mother. You're a mother? What did you do to her? Notice, sir. She said I should buy bread and I did, but she said this is not what she said. I should buy. Anajuge, Naza. You're asking me, you're answering. Woman! Was that enough? Was that enough reason to brutalize her like that? Was that enough? <laughs> I see that you do not know this girl's value and I'm going to take her to the palace where you would not be able to touch her. What's not again? Put her in the Please, Jess, let me Oga, Oga, allow me to take my child. Come, 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 because when you to follow them, and you follow them. Someone so you come back to the house and meet me. Put it together and then you will realize that what's the last is really a treasure. When you get rid of a treasure, someone who knows the value will be dead. Put it together and you will know what's the last is really a treasure. Come and take my advice Value everything you've got I urge you to value everything you've got Oh, value everything you've got Don't come looking for it When someone else put it together I, I, I See what you detest It's another person's prayer point What you reject Another person will accept it So don't you look down on anybody 
Don't to take anybody for granted. Everyone's a blessing. Of people here. Of what for Chagoginanya? You see what you've cost? Eh? I want you severally to stop beating the child you gave birth to. You keep beating as if you're beating a child you picked at the dustbin. What is your problem? What is wrong with you? I said that is not enough. You took her to the road and start showing your black heart. Now the prince saw you and took her away from you. Of course, you go butter. Of course, you go no butter. You go butter. I keep asking you, what has this innocent child done to you that made you hate her so much? What is it? Is it her fault that she chose you to be her mother? Just as you chose me to be your own mother. Did I kill you? No, tell me. No matter the way a child comes to the world, a child is a child. Just leave me alone and stop disturbing my peace. What is the prince's business? Did I hit him? Did I go close to his car? Did I call him into the matter? Why will he take my child away from me? Because he's the prince of this land. Is that how he goes about interfering in people's issues? Mama Pico, I am begging you. Leave me alone. That's neighbor Nike. No. I thought to neighbor in that Wobi. Why did you allow the prince to go with your child? Eh? You didn't challenge him. Just as you're challenging others. Why Ike? It was Ike also. If you think you are strong enough, go to the palace and collect your child. Or go there and beat her. Let's see if the guards will not use your body to do pepe Mama, let them try me. Gano. Okay, for that prince, I will deal with him. I will deal with him. Let me not just say anything. I'm up for no one I go get. I want to go again. Stupid cute. No one called him into the business. Yo, go to go get him now, man. Just grew up and left his sense. That coming to interfere, Chief George. This is sad. A little child like this. Her mother must be a very wicked woman, eh? To treat her own child this way. Chai. She'll never see her again. I'll make sure of it. She'll never see her again. That woman is filled with so much hate and aggression. <coughs> what I witnessed today? I mean, look at her. See scars on her body. I'm mean, gonna ask myself if this is how she's been living. <laughs> ah. oh, Are you hungry? Uh, before we get to that, um, you, I want you to set up a little beautiful room for her. You know where she'll be comfortable. Um, let her have a bath, change her up immediately, and then tomorrow morning, I'd like with your help. You know, for her to be taking out, you know, do some shopping, um, make her hair, and then possibly run some tests. I can see scars on her body, I'm quite uncomfortable with it. Run some tests and then see uh, what else we can do for her. But I really, really want her to be comfortable here. Yeah. Okay, I'll be sure that she's okay. Okay, please get her something to eat and get ready to go to the market to get clothes, okay? I want you to feel at home here. This is your new home. Nobody would hit you. Nobody would scream at you. That's my sister. She's your new auntie. She would love you like I love you. Nothing would make you cry here. I will protect you. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry. It's fine. It's fine, don't cry. Don't cry. It's fine. Go with that auntie. Okay?
at least now Amarachi can rest. And Ijoma too can rest from beating the poor girl. When a child refuses to listen to the advice of a mother, he or she loses. Of course. I have not seen such a hatred. Do you know how many times Ijoma and I have quarreled over Amarachi? Are you telling me? Huh. Huh. Ne. God has answered my prayers. It is better for Amarachi to become a slave in the palace than to remain here. This is hellfire altogether for her. But Mama, where is it your man now? No, I don't know. I don't know. Young girl, who is your father? I don't know my father. Ever since I grew up, I've been with my mother and my grandmother. Ever since I was born, my mother has been treating me badly and calling me bad luck. Ever since she was born, father. This is serious. Have you asked your mother who your father is and why she calls you bad luck? The day I asked her was the very day she gave me mark on my stomach. I have said this. I have said this time, number that most of these kids are not fit to be called mothers. There is a need to evaluate their mental fitness before they go into marriage. How could a mother treat this little girl in such a cure way? I mean, something must run somewhere. Maybe a broken marriage or unwanted pregnancy. No, not enough reason. And an reason to treat your own child, I guess. Well, whatever it is, um, this girl should be here. She should remain with us until the mother comes to pick her up. Then, who we'll consider giving her back to the mother? No, please. I want to stay with her dear Daisy. I don't want to go back. Please. Father, please. Let her stay here with us, Father. She has protection here. Well, let us stay here for as long as you know it takes for, for the mother to come back to her senses. We'll have to find out what the problem really is. Father, please. Please, Father. Have you eaten? Yes, Father. Do you still want to eat something? Oh God, maybe no one has ever asked her such questions. She's still not anything. Anything at all? Okay, yeah, that's it. Oh well, um, see this place as your new home. Hmm? You are part of this family now. I am the king and um, Take me as your father. See as your sister. Then he as your brother. Hmm? Faithful. Thank you. So don't you look down on anybody. Don't you take anybody for granted. Everyone's a blessing. Everything is a lesson. Accept your fate and try to live on. Oh, value everything you've got. Try to value everything you've got Cause when you throw a treasure away Someone who knows the value is gonna take it Put it together and then you will realize That what you lost is really a treasure When you get rid of a treasure Someone who knows the value will be gained Put it together and you will know what you lost is really a treasure. Come and take my advice. Value everything you've got. 
I urge you to value everything you've got. Oh, value everything you've got. Don't come looking for it when someone else put it together. I, I, I. Amara is sick. She can't even stand up. What's the problem? She complained of stomach ache. Stomach? What, what did she eat this? What did she have? What did she eat after dinner last night? <laughs> Nothing. She started complaining immediately she woke up. I think she needs to be dewormed because we don't know if she has ever taken warm medicine before. Dr. Adese. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think? We should take her to the hospital. Um, no, I think we should go to the pharmacy first, get her a warm medicine, then if the pain persists, we'll take her to the hospital. What about that? You sound like one nurse. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Um, I have money at the top drawer. Okay, okay. so do what's best for her. Oh, I don't worry. You. I can handle that. I can count on you. <laughs> Why are you knocking at the palace gate like this? Why are you knocking at the palace gate like this? And who is that lunatic? Your Majesty, she's bring whoever is there in. Tell your son to release my daughter to me who he took away. I am not here to answer questions. How Let dare you? dare you talk to my father like that? Hold Have it. you lost it? So you had the guts to walk into my palace to demand for a child that you maltreated and nearly killed. A child who changed her name to bad luck. Thank you, stars. I'm in good mood. Yes. I would have killed you. I would have squeezed you. Squeezed you until you die. 
and I will feed your miserable body to the lions. And now let me warn you, for the last time, any time you dare me enter here to talk nonsense, you have your miserable self to blame. Idiot. Gods, take this shit away from here. Just get her away. She's so rude and uncultural. What I will not tolerate is someone gossiping my name around. She was so rude that Adese almost slapped her. Uh, listen, go to their house and talk sense into her. Because I wouldn't want such an attitude around my palace anymore. She should be glad her daughter is in safe hands. Or does she want to inflict more bruises on her body? Hmm? If mother was here, Definitely, she shouldn't have left this palace the same way she came. She was so good. Where is Amara? She's in her room. Get her for me, please. What for? Do you want to take her back to that woman? Please stop asking questions and just get her. Yes, sure. Yes. You know that your mother was here today? Yes, and your Dizzy told me. I want to take you so that you can go and see her. But I like come back. Yes, you will. Mm -hmm. I want you to go and see her and also you get a chance to see Grandma. Okay. Uh, well, it's needless going there. We had seen anyone. Uh, why not go tomorrow? Besides, it's already late. I agree that tomorrow. Hi, my prince. My prince, thank you so much. May our God continue to bless you. May the Lord reward you abundantly. Bless you and the entire royal household. Hi, you're so an innocent little child. Being maltreated by her own mother, and you decided to rescue her. Hi, I'm a female. Man, the God that knows what you did will reward you abundantly. Darling, Nam, oh, you. Hey, uh, please forgive my manners. Come and have seat, oh. Come Mom. Since then, she has been maltreating her, calling her all sorts of names. I'm not cheap one keta. I'm not cheap one we we. I'm not cheap this can walk koko. I'm not cheap this can we we. Just look at this girl. Did she resemble any of these things in any way? Just look at her beautiful face. 
Oh, today you look good, see how you do. Yeah. I mean, this thing has been going on since this child was born. I keep fighting, you know, hoping that one day, Jama, my daughter, will change into a better person. But not to our lazy. She refused to change. Honestly, I got tired. I got tired, though. You can go. That girl is my only child. Since I lost her senior brother in a motor accident years ago. I don't even see Ijama around. Where is she? Oh, oh. Ijama ni nyo mo. Ijama bo ni nyo mo. She woke up this morning, took her bath and left. She can stay with me for one whole month, one week, any time without talking to me. I've been on a kamu ni edio. You see who can go and impress? We are here like your co-wives. Eh? She left. I don't know how weird or about. I don't know. Anyway, I I was told that she came to the palace and um, for some reason insulted my father. Eh? I was not at home at the time and um, that is why I've decided to come here, see her so that we can discuss. I need to know what the problem with Ijoma is. Hey! Anyways, I am not surprised to hear this because she has been like this since she gave birth to this girl. She fights with everybody in this village that stands on her way when she beats this girl. That is it. And at a point, when they see her beating this girl, they will just overlook her. Mama, thank God for you that came along the line. You have shown her another power. When power jump power, the lesser one will bow. Ijama bow gorobi. Ah, my prince egade. My prince egade gide 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 At least this neighborhood will experience peace. Ha, Ijama. It's all right, Mama. Um, this is indeed a lot to take. You know, uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for all of this. Uh, okay. It's fine. Um, things will be all right. I let Ijama know that I was here. <clears throat> and that I'll return so that uh, she and I can talk. We need to discuss. Okay. Hmm? William, why? Things will be fine. Okay. Uh? Down, yeah. Down, all right. Mm. So you know, but go, go with him. Stay where we are okay, you know. <laughs> uh, Mama, I want you to take this. Take it. It's for your upkeep. My <laughs> prince! My prince! Mama, 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 what you go? What is that? 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 Udoka, the prince came here today with Amarachi. You should have seen how nice Amarachi one was looking. Hey, you are near Kugo Sera Kugo with a full of pen. Hey, oh, Mama, where was Ijoma when the prince came? She went out, oh, even till now she's not back. <laughs> Though I explained a bit of her character today. Uh -huh. The way she has been maltreating her child since she gave birth to her. Okay. Name hmm. another thing. Ijoma went to the palace to cause trouble. To do what? Cause trouble? Is she mad? Uh -huh. I thought she said she wanted Amarachi to die. Jum. So why did she go to the palace? Jum. Mm -hmm. 
Lanya, the prince is a good man. He's a very good man. He humbly told me to tell you, Joma, that he came. And he will come again. As he was leaving. I, this man gave me a bundle of money. The gift of money, if you see money. I, you know what I ask myself? Is it not this Sema Amarachi that her mother labeled bad luck that brought this gift? Good luck. The money, the type of money I have never seen in my life. Is it not this Sema Amarachi that brought this Mama, money to me? Mama, what's going on? I, the truth is, nobody knows where good things will come from. Just look at it. Am I it's okay. I, the good thing is, Amarachi is in the palace. I need Joma cannot beat her again. Hi. Let me go and bring the money and show you. The big money. Hey, yes, and I'll go for you for now. So that if you see him, you greet him too. I know that one day you will surely see him. Hi. You need to greet him. Okay. Good luck, Amarachi Wetero. Hey. Let me bring that show you. I'm going to bring it though. Hi. Hey. Mama. Mama, please, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see the prince. I don't understand it. Oh, because he is a prince that he thinks he has the right to interfere in people's issues. He has the right to take my daughter away from me. For what now? <laughs> has Amarachi suddenly become your daughter? So Amarachi is now your daughter. Nijama, <laughs> let me warn you. Don't you ever step your feet in that palace. And I know why. The king has already warned about that. And the best thing for you to do now is to comport yourself and prepare your mind to explain things to the prince. Okay. I should explain myself to the prince. As what? No, one. I should go and like Mama, I would not try it. In fact, if he wants to keep Amarachi in the palace, let him do so. I would not explain anything to him. I don't even want to set my eyes on him. You see, men, they are beasts. I hate them with so much passion. They are the worst set of creatures God ever created. If you want to see your daughter, you can go there and see him because I would not set my eyes on that prince. Just the sight of him alone disgusts me. And Mama, let him not set his foot in this house because if he does, I will squeeze him. I don't know Most times, my mother will not allow me to go to school. She will send me on an errand. But if my grandmother is around, she will shout at her. Yes. And she will personally take me to school. Mm -hmm. But since last term, I have not been in school. Why? Because my mom could not pay for my school fees and my books. Mm -hmm. So the teacher sent me back home. Don't worry, eh? As soon as school resumes, we'll go to school. Hmm? Okay, uh, Father. So what class are you in now? Primary 5. Wow! Primary 5? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, very good. You... You are an intelligent girl, so you go back to school. Hmm? When you get to school, you learn um, IT. So to be a computer wizard <laughs> and make me proud. Hmm? Yes, father. Good, good. Um, go and go to school for me. Okay.
Kate, why are you here? Is that supposed to be a welcome? Do I look like a comedian to you? What's bringing about this comedian thing now? What? I see you have clearly refused to take my advice of coming here to see me. Please, leave the palace at once. Stop coming here. Your advice wasn't good enough for me to consider. Kate! Don't push me. You know me. My word is my bond. I told you, you and I are done. And that is final. Find yourself someone that you can toss around. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Please. I'm going to explain to my father that a lovely daughter who he brought out in a godly way got pregnant before marriage. My father is an Anglican priest well known in our community. If he should hear of this, it will break his heart. Nay, the worst thing you did was to tell my brother. You should have handled it. Now look at what it has cost you. He told me you got pregnant and he asked you to keep the pregnancy, but you aborted the child. That was bad now. We're only dating. We're not married yet. Perhaps my dad would warn me of getting pregnant outside marriage. He said the church will wed us. I only took just one small pill. I never knew the thing would vanish. Please, I, I beg you, just beg him for me, please. Beg him. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. You know what? I'll talk to my brother, okay? Just calm down. I'll try my best. I'll talk to him. You needed to have seen how your brother humiliated me in front of the maids and guards. It's okay, just calm down. It was too much. It's okay, stop. Listen, listen and listen very good. I don't want any other here to hear this. Yes. We shouldn't be talking about this here. But you know what you did was bad. You bought it or were you blood. Do you know what that means? Come on. Okay, go fine. It was too much. So you want me to forgive Kate? Huh? You want me to forgive her? What after all she did? No. No. She has made the mistake already. And I understood her excuses. Considering the fact that her father is a priest. Listen, I told Kate. Royalty is the home for the gods. Keep your father out of my relationship with you. I told her several. But she never listened to me. And then she killed her child. Do you know who that child could have become? Oh, no, no. Oh, do you know? Oh, she did not abort the baby. Yes. Um, she only took a pill. Yes, just a pill because her menstruation ceased. She didn't abort the child. Is that how she told you the story? Hmm. I see that she has succeeded in confusing my sister. Yes. Okay. 
She has been crying all day. Please forgive her. Okay, please. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, my mind is made up. Do you hear me? I am not going to marry a woman who would not listen to me. Tell your friend Kate that no amount of please would fix this. I'm down. No. Oh, oh. You serious? See, I don't know why they think you dump someone like you. She's a very nice woman. And every man dreams to have someone like her. Hmm. It seems they are having some personal issue. And I believe they are going to sort it out themselves. Mm. And the prince was just there shouting at her. Stop coming to the palace. Stop coming to the palace. I was there now. I was listening to them. Mm -hmm. Would you? I could not even specify one thing that the prince said to her. Oh. Simply could be a disagreement. Probably she did something the prince told her not to do. Or something like that. Oh. And Kate is a very nice person. Mm. She's the only one who comes to the palace and dashes us money. And she always wears this nice smile on her face. I love her so much. I'm going to talk to the prince about her. And I believe the prince is going to forgive her. <laughs> Lele. Oh, go now. By the time the prince raises his left hand and sounds you one correct slap, you know yourself. He will not awesome. dare. Uh -huh. The priest is a very noble man. And I believe that when I talk to him, he's going to forgive her. Exactly. Watch me and see. <laughs> I'll watch. I'll be here. Wait till when you come back crying your cheek. He's laughing. He's laughing. Thank you, Mama. Welcome, my dear. I greet you. No. I'm fine, very, 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 very well. How is my granddaughter, Amarachi? She's fine. Hey. She's fine. Eh? No. She sends her greetings. All right. She sends her greetings to who exactly, Mr. Ma? You forcefully took my daughter, seized her, and took her to your evil palace. I want you to bring my daughter back. She has lots of work to do here. You call my father's palace evil? Exactly what I said. If not, why would you forcefully take my child, use her for your royal sacrifice, and you think I don't know? Well, I'll let you know this. My spirit is way stronger than yours. I want my child back. Shut up, Ijoma! So you now know that Amarachi is your daughter? Why don't know? Eh? So you now know that she has a lot of work to do in this house? You no longer want her dead. Where are those poison you wanted to poison her with? Mama, she can't go hang in evil place. Can't go back now. You have the guts to run your mouth before the prince of this land. You go out of here. You tell me you're a beautiful fool. It's okay, Mama. You know when I took Amarachi? <laughs> I told myself that if I see improvements, I will bring her here. But clearly, that will not happen anytime soon. Don't bring her! The only reason I was asking for Marachi to come back was because of you. But since you're on your side, huh, doesn't look like I can. So, <coughs> oh, now, Majuga! Hey! Come back here. What's the Papa! Where are you going? You want to know where I am going? <laughs> do, you, do you want to kidnap me too? Of course! You want to take me too? Mama. I'm from now. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. 
I'm going to skin you alive. You had the gods to call my father's palace evil. I am going to make you stand before the others in council and defend that nonsense which you have spoken. About <laughs> <laughs> now look at me. Now take a good look at me. Does it look like I care? Does it look like I am scared of you or your father the king? I am not. You can only kill me. I don't have a life anymore. I don't have a life. My life, my hopes, my dreams. Everything, everything has been shattered. No one cares about me. Nobody cares about my life. Nobody cares about my dreams because everything has, has been dashed away. So you can as well do me the favor of taking me to the king to take my life. Because the only thing I think about each night I go to bed is to take my life. Uh, 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 Biko Prince, uh, please, I, I'm, I am so sorry. Don't be angry with her, Biko Baharama. You will quite go see there. Biko, Biko. I can turn back the days of time. I wish I can go back to the right right on It's my a pity right. she couldn't control her mouth. How could she address a royal blood, the prince, as such? Mm. If not for her tears, the prince wanted to take her to the king. Go to the king. Go to the king. Mama, let's just pray the prince doesn't tell his father. Else, Ijoma will be doomed. I pleaded with him on her behalf. And I'm sure he will not. Look at the way you're walking along the road, like someone whose brain has left her body. <sighs> Ijoma, you're gradually becoming a lunatic because this is exactly how it begins. I just want to be left in the world of my own where nobody understands me. So please, Udoka, when next you see me this way, let me be. Wait. You think I don't understand you? Of course I do. But let me tell you something, Ijoma. Stigma kills every woman who does not want to keep her away from those thoughts. I am your sister from the same clan. I lost my parents when I was six. But look at me. I'm a full-grown woman. Thinking about my parents doesn't do me any good. It doesn't bring fortune to me. Rather, it worsens my situation. All I'm thinking of right now is having a child. So that he or she can continue my family name. And you! You are killing us. What did you just say? You're thinking of having a child. Obviously, you have plants. Mine wasn't planned. Someone came out of nowhere, made me a mother out of my own will. I didn't have plants. I wasn't ready. Please. 
please. I say this again, whenever you see me on the road looking like this, don't stop me. What you reject, another person will accept it. So don't you look down on anybody. Don't you take anybody for granted. Everyone's a blessing. Everything is a lesson. Accept your fate and try to live on. Oh, value everything you've got. Try to value everything you've got. Cause when you throw the treasure away, so. Was this why you sent for me? Is what I complained about not enough for me to send for you? How could a man wear my son bring in an old and expired cargo to me? And the worst of it all, the woman had already had three children. Huh? I want a vibrant woman, not that kind of person. Don't you need someone that is vibrant anymore? I, I, I need somebody vibrant, but uh, not that kind of woman. If, if you talk about somebody like Ijo a mad woman, look at her. Uh, she's still tall, but she, her body is still sopping. Um, she can make a man's manhood to stand. That's the kind of woman I need. Since your mind is still in that girl. Yes. That girl is still very fresh, despite the fact that she has given birth to a child. Look at her body. Still standing like a ruler. She can still raise a pope's manhood. How I wish she would say a simple yes. All right. <clears throat> if that is the case, I'll give it a second trial. If you do that for me, I will give you that my land at the crossroad to show you how important it is to me. If that is the case, consider it done. Oh, please, please, do it. Oh, do it for me. Okay. My brother, please. Ima, your father doesn't know what he wanted. And I have told you that all you need to do is to marry a woman and keep her to be taking care of your father. That one will be your wife at home, while the white woman should be doing her own contract marriage. Do you know what it took me to convince that woman before she agreed? And an old man like your father rejected her. Eh? Don't be angry, my dear. All I wanted was what will make the old man happy. Will you kill yourself? Since your father is looking for tomato juice, and such tomato is very hard to see, let him manage tomato in wool oil. Clara, I suggest we try more. Yeah. Probably look for someone that can convince Ijoma. The old man is her type, and is willing to spend his life savings just to have her. Ijoma is out of it. Don't even dare. That one get her own trouble. The fact that she got pregnant the way she did is making her a sadist. Look elsewhere. Then, then what do you suggest I should do? Let your father rest and stop making choice. Tell her what to say. Okay, father, I will. But father, please, one more thing. Father, please talk to Unamdi. His attitude towards her, it's not good at all. She was crying over the phone all through last night. And I really felt for her. Please, Father. Do as I said. Hmm? And let me know exactly what is going on. Okay, Father. Hmm? I'm 
sorry about the way I spoke to you the other day. It's not in my manner to talk to people like that. So you can actually be this calm. You can actually be this calm and relate like a normal human being. Did you think that I've come here to arrest you? Nobody understands me. Nobody listens to me. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. No one understands you. Is that enough to treat a child that God gave to you as a gift? That way, that was an act of wickedness. That is what life did to me. But no one seems to understand that part of me. I'm not that kind of person. You know what, get up. Whatever it is eating you up, bringing out the worst in you, I'll suggest that you let it out and let it go. But I saw that day it was not good. I'm going to come back here. You and I would have a proper talk. Hmm? In the meantime, where is your mother? She, she has gone to her farm. I see. Do you need anything? Yes. Clothes, shoes, money, gifts, uh, anything at all to take this wickedness that I see out of your system. Huh? I don't need any of those. People call me names, all sorts of names. And you just called me a wicked woman. All I need is a listening ear. That's all, not, nothing more. I'll be back. I will talk. Thank you. <laughs> Your father's position as a church leader is very important, but you should have also discussed with your fiancé to find out if he's keen in marrying you or not. Your Majesty, I, I told him that I was not free, but he insisted and had his way. So when I, I missed my period, I, I told him about it. He said I should keep the child, but Due to my father's position in the church, I wouldn't want to disappoint him. So I, 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 I took a pill. Did what? Took a pill? That pill you took is the cause of all this problem. You just wasted a seed of loyalty. How dare you? On a very flimsy excuse. You guys will go on terminating innocent souls. Father, Father, what is she going to do now? Because Namde has changed completely. His attitude towards her now, it's something else. And I understood her fears, considering the fact that her father is a priest. Father, the deed has been done. What do we do to bring both of them together again? The man knows what to do. He is no longer a kid. Look, I don't like this thing that Kate did. On a very flimsy excuse, you've just terminated a child, a soul created by God. Let me warn all our young girls out there. You shouldn't see abortion as a last resort.
my friend. <laughs> you are here. Yes, I'm here. She didn't even tell me that you are here. Hey. Mama, you just came. Oh, my friends. Mama. You're welcome, bro. Thank you, man. Hey, Thank no. You. I'm a family friend now, so what's yeah, no It's okay. You're, I'm you're, warm. You're always welcome. Hey, gonna gonna be about now. Thank you. You're welcome. Mama. There's money on the table. Use it to buy ingredients for the soup. Then there's cocoa yam under the bed. My friends. Please, I hope you will eat coco yam. That's fine, Uncle. It's okay. But you are not going to eat it. Cook it well. Oh, sorry. I'm going to eat it. Mama! I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. Mama, have a nice day. No, Mama. Don't mind my mom. It's fine. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. You're welcome. I promised that I'll be here again. Because you promised that the next time I come, you'll tell me your story. So, I want to hear it. I don't want you to waste your tears now. You don't have to cry. Just, just talk to me. You know, wounds are not easily healed. It's not even advisable to pick up broken plates. Because it's dangerous. I was only 13 when I lost my father. We all lived in Onicha. My father was a civil servant. And that was our means of livelihood, except for my mother who, who did petty trading. My mother, my father, and my late brother. <laughs> and then one Sunday evening, my father had a stroke and life became <laughs> from bad to worse. <laughs> Two months later, he died. My mother had to continue with her petty trading. But that didn't last long. And then we had to come back to the village because my mother couldn't see me through school anymore. And that was when a man from our neighboring village came. He was my father's friend. He intervened and and rendered to help our family. And that was how I left the village for independence layout in Enugu. take you to school and get you registered so that you can start immediately since you said you want to be a lawyer or a journalist i will do everything within my power to see you fulfill your dreams thank you so much sir. i really appreciate it <laughs> 
<laughs> my God will bless you. Thank you. Yeah, Mama, God will bless you so much. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mm. Thank, Thank you. you. Mama. Yes, Mama. All I want is for you to be a good girl. Mm, hmm? that's all. Wake up in the morning, do your house chores, finish it on time, and go to school early. I was so happy. So happy in that house because the man and his wife took me like their own child. And I tried everything, everything I could to make them happy as well. I read my books because I wanted to make him happy. I was in senior secondary school too. Then he had promised to see me through school to study law or journalism which has which had always been my dream till that fateful day <laughs> he had traveled with his wife to the village I was <laughs> I was in my room reading my clothes. He beats me up mercilessly. And upon that, he took my virginity. <sighs> and then I found out I was pregnant. His mother wouldn't buy into that idea. According to her, her son was too good to do such a thing. She called me all sort of names. At that point, we, could, we didn't even know where he was. Because he had run away. His mother was bent on sending me out of the house. She brought me back to the village. I suffered. I... I suffered so much. Because... I couldn't get rid of the pregnancy. I was called all sorts of names. And then one day, the man and his wife came here. I have been warning her to stay quiet and stop jumping from one man to another. And I already asked my son, and he said nothing like that ever happened between them. So, Biko, let her tell you who is responsible for her pregnancy. My son is not, so she should stop accusing my innocent son. Innocent son, indeed. I'm 
Oh, like uh, your innocent son, indeed. So your Chinedu's uh, uh, name has come from Chinedu to innocent overnight. Okay, Zioku. Let me tell you, if your son has been innocent of this case, my daughter here wouldn't have been calling his name. Inania, and watch your tongue. I would like to just watch your tongue. Mind what is coming out of your mouth. Because God in heaven is judging. Whatever that comes off your, out of your mouth, God is judging you. You said that my daughter has been following men all around. You saw that and you kept quiet. Okay, Watch your tongue go. I know you are lying. Just watch your tongue because God will judge you. By your word, by your actions, God will judge you. In uh, 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 no. Biko, um, I am begging. What happened has happened. Eh? Please, the thing we should be talking now is to pray to God to give her safe and smooth delivery. But as for me here, I will find out my son wherever he is eh? and sit him down, talk sense into him. Because since this thing happened, I have not seen him. Though he has been communicating with uh, my wife here, his mother. Eh? Because, but I am begging. Please, can we do so if I... Why is he running? No, why is he running if he is not responsible for this pregnancy? Can you hear that? My son is not running. My son is not running. No, you just give one no call. Jana, call. Chine do my son is not responsible. Chine do one is not responsible. No, yeah. So tell her to open her mouth and tell you who it is. And she should go and meet the person that made her pregnant. I'm going to come this side. Yeah, nah, nah. Eka no. I had lost my hope. I lost my dreams. I lost everything. And it was worse because I... I saw my mates doing things. Going places. Useful things and... I just... I just sat around doing nothing. And then Amarachi came. Oh. I hated her so much. I hated her to the point that I tried to poison her if not for my mother. Was still. I gave birth to her through cesarean section. Do you know what it took my mother? Do you know what it took my mother to offset the bills? My whole life changed. Everything. My life. My dreams. My home. Everything I have. You have I was... cried, you have cried, you have cried, you have cried enough. Rejoice. 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 Stop crying. It's fine. Stop. Stop. I understand. I understand. Take it easy. I understand. I know. I know that this stigma has given deep into you. I know. But we'll have to find a way to bring you out of it. We'll have to find a way to keep your dreams alive. This is not the end of your life. You can still be a doctor, a lawyer, anything that you wish to be. This cannot be your end, please. I will be here. I will help you. I'll help you to leave again. But I need you to promise me that you are going to put all of this behind you. Please, stop crying, okay? Listen, Amarachi is God's gift. Amarachi is the best gift that God gave to you. Listen, I need you to look at it that way. 
but you see her as not a gift. You hate her because you fear that she came between you and your dreams. But no, that girl is a gift. Please, stop crying. Okay? Listen, hey, I hear that um, registrations for examinations are still ongoing, and I also want you to register for extra moral lessons. We can do this. Go ahead, take it. I'll fight this battle with you and let's see if you cannot achieve all that you have set out to achieve. Come on now. Come on. Take it, please. Huh? Stop crying. Bless you. God bless you. It's good. It's okay. You don't know what this means to me. I, I, had, I had lost hope of going back to school. It's okay. Oh, get up. Get up. Please sit. Get up and see it, please. Huh? Stop crying. Huh? It's okay, you've been through quite a bit and I get it. But it's time to look into the future. The future is all yours. Huh? Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. I have to go now. Okay. Thank you. I have to go. But I'll be in touch. I'll visit you. I'll see you again. Huh? Stop crying. God bless you. Stop. God bless you too. Well, God bless you, sir. Thank you. Joma, this one you greeted me today with a smiling face. What happened? Or is this not Ijoma? This is Ijoma. And have I not been greeting you before? Why are you surprised? You greeting me with a smiling face. Please tell me, did you win a pool? Yeah. Oh. No. Is Mama home? She's not around. She went out. Tell her to send for me when she comes back. I will. You're not fighting now. Uh uh. Doka. Where are you coming from? Oh, I went to Bessin. Oh, oh. Up to go. Up to go, mom. And I also registered for my wayek today. Eh? Yes. Hey, chineke, kede de korage. Amen. Hey, you have said that God works in mysterious ways. Okay, Fugia. Now, there's something I want you to do. 
What is it, Mom? I want you to rush to the palace and tender apology to the king for your rude attitude towards him. So, Biko. Biko. Okay, Mama. I will. I'll do it. Eh, eh, eh. Not you will. I want you to do it immediately. Mama, I said I would do it. My mayor, calm down, oh. What did you cook? Gina Agua. Mama, don't cook rice. Gina Agua. Jerry Gina Agua. What is it? Mm. I'm actually talk. What is it? Mm. Go and call the girl and choose some. Okay, father. Hey, Bube. Yes, call all the guards and maidens. Tell them my father wants to see them. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. I'll deal with the matter. Father, here, here. Who among you, Peter? Your, your Majesty, I saw her in the kitchen washing plates, and I told her to leave the plates for me to wash, but she refused. Then you beat her? No, no, Your Majesty. I. I only took the place forcefully from her and she started crying. Besides, she has broken some place before, so I do not want her to touch the place again. And did you tell me all this? No, my presence. Besides, I don't see reasons to make such complaints. Now I ask you, are those plates yours? No, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. So why the fuse? If this have broken all the plates in this house, that's still mine, not yours. Now listen, I will allow her to wash all the plates in the house. Am I understood? Yes, Your Majesty. Oh, Jim, we all know that Amarachi here is closer to you than every other maiden in this palace. Please, do not make her cry again. Father, let them go and say to. Well, well, just before then, let could you apologize to her? I mean, poor mom, I'm sorry, oh? I didn't mean to make you upset. Oh, I'm sorry. I think that what your mother said about you coming to apologize to the king is right. I think you should forget it. Okay, my father has forgotten about it. We talked about it and he let it go. So, forget it. Let's focus on, on you. Let's focus on making your dreams a reality. Okay? As for Marachi, you don't worry about her. She's doing fine. She's having a great time at the palace. I honestly think that she's forgotten that you exist. That is not possible. Oh well, you see when a child does not ask for someone, it simply means they've forgotten all about them. Having said that, I think that you should be patient with her. Amarachi went through a lot in your hands. You know. Give her time to heal. Give her time. Forget all of that. It's hard for kids to forget, but we'll try with her. We're giving her the best of life at the palace. Give her some time to miss you too. You never know. She just might begin to miss her mother at some point. So that when you eventually see her again, it will be a very beautiful reunion. Huh? <coughs> huh? 
seen her won't be bad seeing the king also to tender an apology won't be a bad idea as well but if you say i should calm down then i will mm, yeah calm down for now right let time pass that day will come but when it comes it will be beautiful huh <laughs> Let's talk about you. What have you been doing with your time? Studies? What's going on? Bring me up to speed now. I'd like to know. Yeah? Well, classes are great. My teachers are amazing. And um, it's been worth the while. I know it's been good. Has it been good with you and for you? How are you doing with academics? I'd like to know. I'm fine. Everything is fine. School is fine. Classes. You sound confident. Can I see? You want to see? Oh, yeah, I want to see. <laughs> I want to see. Okay, let me surprise you. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> Look at you, see. Sorry. You've got my stuff, eh? Sorry. So you come with this paper. I'll be this chair. Uh, well, why, did, sometimes. why did you throw the bag? You asked for it and I gave it to you. Because it's yours as well. How? What do you mean? You gave me the money to buy the bag and the books. So it belongs to you too. Okay. Yes. Let's see. I'm shaking up too. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. <clears throat> Don't do that. Are you impressed? <laughs> is this you? Of course, it is me. You don't know. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Let's see what you're home. beginning to sound like my teacher. And why are you going through my books? You never like know, I, like... I could be you. You know, to think that I like your handwriting, I know you would. Yeah, <laughs> quite. Um, you know, my, this is impressive. <laughs> Thank this you. This is impressive. I'm you're shocked, right? Well, <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking? I don't know. And I'm a dog girl. No, maybe your grace will be as troublesome as you. <laughs> <laughs> but this is good. I'm impressed. Your grades are good. Thank you. So, what's your plan? Um, <clears throat> what university would you like to attend? Well, all universities in Nigeria are beautiful. Right. But there is one in the East I would love to attend. The East? Yes. Which will that be? Let me tell you. Oh, go ahead. You and M. Yes. <laughs> University of Nigeria and Suka. Yes. One of the best in the country. Mm. I agree with you. Great choice. <laughs> Great choice. Great choice. Great choice. Ah, I'm quite impressed. Ah. Thank you. But then I have to go. Um, let your mom know that I was here. The next time I come, I'd like to, you know, have a word with her. Mm? Okay. And as for you, stay alive. Don't worry yourself too much. Huh? Life is like a pendulum. It swings in different directions. And if you stay alive and keep faith, one day it will swing in your favor. And you'll smile again. You sound like my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll tell my mom you were here. Sure. Bye.
said good afternoon. Why do you keep showing up here? Why do you keep coming here? I've made it very clear. The bond between the both of us was broken. Why are you here? No. That's not how to talk to a woman. What is your problem, brother? Huh? Father told you to calm down and listen to Kate. But you vehemently refused. And that is bad. If you were God, you wouldn't lend your ears. I did. I'm your elder brother. You would not speak to me in that manner. I'm sorry. Keep quiet. I brought her here. You suddenly think you know Kate more than I do? Listen, the both of you have found friendship in each other. I wish you luck. But keep me out of your conversations. I'm sorry. Kate. I'm very sorry, please. Stop coming here. There is nothing here for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Bro, she said she's sorry. I'm sorry. She's begging. Darling, darling, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop that. I'm sorry. Don't cry, okay? Don't cry, I'm begging. Don't worry. I'll talk to my brother. He is my brother. I'll talk to him. He will listen to you. You were smiling a moment ago, so I want you to smile. Don't even start. If you're seeing me here, I'm very hungry. All I want to do is just to go home and go and eat. Uh, don't I'm worry. Let's go. I'll buy you mineral sausage. Hold that. Alika. Alika, I'm shishu. There is nothing in your pocket. You can't buy me sausage. I will buy now. This time around. I'm for real. I'll buy. You promise. I promise. Alika. I promise. I look at the market if you don't buy it. I will buy it. Big war. I will buy it. <laughs> You ran out. Do you know the palace maiden? I know who she is, and we can't be here. We need to leave this place. I don't want her to see me. Well, they would have seen you because you almost made everybody to react. What did they notice? That's not the problem. Now we need to leave this place. Let's go. Accept your fate and try to live and value everything you've got. Try to value everything. Cause when you throw a treasure away Someone who knows the value is gonna take it Put it together and then you will realize that What's the last is really a treasure When you get rid of a treasure Someone who knows the value will be gay Put it together and you will know What's the last is really a treasure Come and take my advice Value everything you've got I urge you to value everything you've got Oh, value everything you've got Don't come looking for it When someone else put it together I, I, I See what you detest 
It's another person's prayer point. What you reject, another person will accept it. So don't you look down on anybody. Don't you take anybody for granted. Everyone's a blessing. Everything is a lesson. Accept your fate and try to live on. Oh, value everything you've got. Try to value everything you've got. Cause when you throw a treasure away, someone who knows the value is gonna take it. Put it together and then you will realize that. What you lost is really a treasure. When you get rid of a treasure, someone who knows the value we became. Put it together and you will know what you lost is really a treasure. Come and take my advice. Value everything you've got. How are you? Good afternoon, my friends. You like to call me Prince. <laughs> my name is Namdi. Eh? Namdi. Call me Namdi. That way we are friends. You are freer to talk to me. Okay? Uh, okay, sir. Namdi. Namdi. <laughs> Namdi. Right. Please sit down. Thank you. Let me drop my bag inside. Can I offer you anything? Oh, I'm good. It's okay. I. I have come to talk with you. Okay. Yes. Uh, the last time you and I had a conversation, you said something that got me. You said that you hit men. Why, Ijoma? Please, don't keep quiet. I need to know why. That way I get to understand you more. Why? Please, talk to me. You're trying to take me down the memory I wouldn't want to remember. I hate the fact that I was violated. I hate the fact that I knew nothing about a man or a woman before this happened. That fact alone made me hate men. I hate them so much. Ijoma. Ijoma, do you hate me? I ask because I'm a man. If you sound this way and still feel this way, it means that you still carry that ugly experience with you everywhere you go and trust me, it's not going to help you. Not all men are bad. I want you to begin to understand that men are beautiful creations as well, just like women. You know, people make mistakes, uh, but it does not excuse what that young man did to you, no. But people make mistakes, and you will not judge every other person you meet on your life's journey with one man's mistake. That's not the way to live. Please, you have to let go. You have to free your mind. I won't. I would never, ever forgive him. You don't know me. You don't come here to preach forgiveness about someone who tore my life into shreds. A man who broke me. A man whose parents threw me out of the house forgetting about my pregnancy. I won't forgive him. 
I would never, ever forgive him. And if that is the reason you came here, I'd ask you to leave. Please. I'm sorry. If I dug up old coals, that's not why I'm here. I am here to help you find yourself again. I'm here to help heal your wounds. I'm here to remove the blocks that this man shattered. I am here to make you understand that every man is the beast. There are good men out there. I want you to know that if you must move on and have a good life, you will have to let this go. I'll be seeing you again. I urge you to value everything you've got. Oh, value everything you've got. Don't come looking for it when someone else put it together. I, I, I. Igwe, our cultural and traditional values are decaying. We are not going to sit back and watch this happen right under your watch. Ikemba, how am I the one causing the troubles? Igwe, you've heard it from me. I said it before. My name is Ikemba from a genealogy of warriors. What I cannot say before you, I will not say elsewhere. Yes. Otherwise, it, it, it will become gossip. Your father was one of the greatest kings we ever had in this land. In fact, the greatest as far as I can remember. During his reign, he made sure that our culture, tradition, all the things that Help us with all the things for which we were known flourished. Why would you get up all of a sudden and say you will not celebrate the New Year festival? I did not say you will not celebrate New Year festival. What I said is that I am not going to be part of it. There is no link between light and darkness. I belong to the church. I'm a child of God. I said, I am going to rule this kingdom with Bible. I am going to rule with the dictates of the Bible. Word of God. I am not against you people eating your yam. Go ahead and eat your yam. I am here for bread of life, which is Jesus Christ. My Bible made me to understand that we should not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Go to Psalm 115. That those who worship idol are like the idols they worship. They have eyes. But they cannot see, they have ears, but they cannot hear, mouth they cannot speak. So, I belong to the light. Christ is my light. Go ahead with your so called New Year festival. I'm not interested. Igwe, it seems our kingdom has been cursed officially. What business does the church have with our customs and traditions? John. Wait, Igwe, are you just trying to feel the powers of the kingdom? Because the members of the Thai Union are not happy. The youths are grumbling. I, Ogene, am on their path. If you want to go to your church, good and fine. 
But what, what happens to my worship? I think uh, I said you are free to enjoy my yam. Allow me to enjoy my bread of life. Christ is the light. Christ is the only way. No one comes to Father unless to Christ. Just understand it. Go ahead. Eat your yam. Ibe, Ibe, I'm Ibe. Hmm? Well, listen to me. We are out to protect our culture and tradition, our values, those things that keep us together, those things that um, for which we are known. We are out to protect mm -hmm. those things, and no church. I repeat, no church shall be allowed to stand between us and our traditions. Simple. No church. You can go ahead with the church. But no church will be allowed to destroy I think in the absence of every other thing, I hereby dismiss this meeting. Praise mm. God. Mm. Children of God, children of Israel. I know. Give me dreams. You will leave that seat and I will make sure the Igbe ship becomes rotation. Oh, come on. It must become rotational. It has to be. See, how come the churches are destroying our traditional culture? The things that hold us together. And no man is talking. Everybody is keeping quiet. Eh? The Ophala and the New Year festivals are the only things that we have. The only things that. that, that for, for which we are, we are known by everybody. Yeah? No. For Igbe Udora to decline on these two festivals is to say the least unspeakable. Yes! And uh, look, in fact, anyway, may the gods not let this thing happen. Otherwise, ha! Uh, Ikemba, there is something we are going to do. Mm -hmm. And that is, we are going to call his son and warn him of the danger of what his father is getting into. Other mama on the Let me tell you, I don't have time for this son. I, Ikemba, I am a one man sport. And no man born of a woman will kick against that which holds us together. A way of life. And get away with it. Not while I'm alive. Yes! Let me tell you. It is only in Africa that God will instruct them to burn down the shrine. Yes! It is only in Africa that one idiot in an ill-fitting suit will come before a deity and begin to cast and bind. And they are so blind they cannot see the prosperity that is going on in those countries that have been protecting their traditions and culture. Eh? Aye! No! Imagine your Ibe Udora talking through his anus. My brother, my brother, I weep for the black man. My brother, there's no problem. We're still going to do our New Year festival. Bring out our masquerade. And our woman bring out the Igwe Goda. And our baby Gulu. Okay. Maybe it's a moment. I got your uncle. 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 Father, it is wrong to address your king makers that way. Who told you that a king who has given his life to Christ will no longer obey the custom and tradition of his land? Father, I overheard your discussion with Ichie Ikemba and Ichie Ogene, and I think they are right. Our daddy general overseer says we shouldn't do those things. And I don't want to be a party to anything that does not glorify the Lord. Father, I am surprised. Or is it because mother is no more? Father, you are the king of this land. And you should try as much as you could to promote the culture and tradition of this land as the king, Father. What will people say? The New Year Festival. 
is one of those cultures that glorify evil. Oh. They practice voodoo. They practice all sorts of magic. And I, I don't want to be part of that. That's the reason I cancelled it. And uh, this discussion is over. I need some rest. Ah, did you? My prince. <laughs> You know, I was just on my way to your place. Oh. Uh, so it's a good thing I've seen you here. I hope it's, yeah, it's well. Well, everything is okay. Uh, my sister told me that you are the palace. And that um, you and my father had, you know, a bit of a back and forth. Uh, Ichi, you see, there is no gain in war. And I'm standing here to say that we are indeed going to have the New Year Festival. I'm not saying this as the king, but I am saying this as a man who wants peace. Iche, you know that when something is about to happen and it's not redeemed quite early, it could cause quite a stir. And that is exactly what we should try to avoid. Eh? My prince. Yes. You are spoken very well. No. Just like the prince uh, who is now. <laughs> And I promise you one thing. I shit my sword. Hmm? <laughs> I shit my sword. Thank you. Uh, but when you see a pastor, a reverend father, mm. any of them, going to the palace to deceive your father, please chase him or her away. These people are just looking for a place they will set ablaze and they run away. You see? We Africans have been deceived, used and dumped over the years, especially when it concerns our traditional values. My prince, a king should not hobnob with people who don't know even the rudiments of leadership. May the gods keep you for us. May the gods keep you too. Alive and safe. <laughs> You'll be a great king in the future. <laughs> Darling, Thank you, my dear. Well, now, I'll All see right. you around then. Okay, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Father, no one is saying that you cannot practice your newfound belief. It's what you believe in, Father. But let the people who believe in the tradition practice their traditional beliefs. Father, the kingship is in this family. Do you know that as we speak, the elders in council are plotting to make kingship rotational. If you continue to insist that you will not let them carry out their traditional beliefs, will you shut up and listen to me? I am the king, and no one challenges my authority and goes scot free. I have every right to stop any tradition that does not glorify the new choice I found. The consequences, Father. That I'm the king does not mean I should kill if killing is the norm. Ikemba was one of those people that fought me when my father died. So he has, he's not in any position to dictate to me. Or to remind me about our festival. Let me warn you. Be very, very careful of him. He is like a viper. Uh, anywhere as for the festival. I will hold the festival at my own convenience. At your convenience, Father. It's okay. I um, I have a meeting with someone, Father. I will speak with you later. Hey, 
hygiene. How are we going to do that? Exam is starting from next tomorrow. And you said you don't have money for traveling and other things. What are you going to do? No, this whole thing is confusing to me. I've only resorted to talking to my mother about it. There is nothing else I can do. At least you have pot and, and stove. Yes, I have you? Yeah, I do. But uh, don't bother. Those things will not be enough for us. We still need more for stuff. And we just have tomorrow. We have to write that exam. We must write that exam. Yes. This is the only opportunity I have to be a wire holder. Sure. We must write that exam. I don't know what to do again. I'm, I'm just tired. Yeah. Okay. Mm. My friend, don't worry. Mm? Everything is going to be fine. Okay? Amen. Mm. <laughs> Mama will miss you too. Hey, hmm? no one no more. <laughs> eh? Oh, well, it's your brother. Let's check it. Hey, hey. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> This one. Thank you. God bless you. Bless us. Amen. Huh? God will bless you and bless me. Amen. When mama. you are blessed, I'm blessed. Yes, Mama. Yes, Mama. So, Ije Gusi Akukuike. When your food store finish, you will come home and take more. I'm also going to have to start going. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, no. no. Only see me. This is Clara, the person that um, introduced me to the lady that I brought to you. That one that has three children? Yes, Papa. This exactly the age I want. Why can't she find someone of her age? Papa, don't you know that you're an old man? And old men don't have a choice. Wait, what, 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 what do you mean by the term old age? Tell me, Clara or whatever they call you. Papa, what I understand by word old? Old is something that was inspired and worn out. You mean to tell me that I, this man, sitting here before you, cannot make you pregnant? What those young men outside can do, I can do it. I'm feel strong and vibrant. I can do it. I can perform very well. It's a quantum of nature. As many times as possible. I can do it. I'm not expired. But, Papa, does a woman expire? A woman does not expire too. A man or woman expires only when the breath of his life has been taken from him. Then he leaves the planet Earth. Emma, 
I need a young and vibrant woman that can satisfy my feelings at my old age. Okay, okay, I can't can inform her. A man does not aspire on the work he knows. I'm still strong and active. I can do it all night long. Yeah, Fitch. That's what you want. So bad now. I think I understand what the old man wants. He wants just a friend. Not because he's an old man, anyone can come and be cooking for him. And not stressing his life. What do you suggest? Since he has been staying alone, even when you are bored, leave him and travel. Why I look out for that thing he wants? Who knows? We can see someone who we agree. And these days, a lot of young girls prefer old men than all these young boys who hop from one woman to another. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Actually, your idea is good. Anyway, let's go to my site. Let's see how far they have gone. Oh. Okay. Hey! How are you? Please, uh, is the prince around or even the king? Uh, the prince is not around, but the king is around. Okay. Please tell him that uh, Amarachi's grandmother is, uh, is here to see him. Okay. He's not telling me. Okay. Your Majesty, the guard at the gate said that there's a woman standing at the gate and she wanted to see you. Bring her in. Yes, Your Majesty. They can be a big girl. Big girl's palace. I have finally come to this place. Ha! Mwa Who said that child is not good? Amarachi has finally brought me into this palace. The one I Hey! Let me start by thanking you for all the things you brought for me. <laughs> ah, there are so many. Especially the palm wine. Uh, it seems, you know, I enjoy palm wine a lot. <laughs> Especially those sweet ones that doesn't intoxicate the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty. You are welcome. In fact, I am here to appreciate you and the entire royal household for keeping my grandchild here. In fact, you people really tried. You and the prince. Not every king will do this. Not every king will allow it. But you did. Your Majesty, you are such a good man. They are so wonderful. And the God we serve will continue to bless you and keep you Amen. and make your reign to be so long. 
is needless thanking me. All glory, all honor goes to Almighty God. Uh, I'm only a vessel. The Almighty uses me as He pleases. Uh, well, as for Marashi, she is safe. Um, I heard her story from my son, uh, who told me how the mother maltreated her and how she tried to kill her. And uh, I stepped in and took custody of her. She is very, very safe here. So, how is she? I mean, the mother. Your Majesty, she's fine. She went to sit for her Wayek examination. Oh, really? She hasn't known her school sat. Yes, Your Majesty. Uh, she took in when she was still in senior secondary. So, she dropped out. She couldn't finish. Actually, that was the more reason she hated the child so much and uh, wanted to kill her. Well, let me assure you once more that Amarachi is in safe hands. Thank you. Uh, presently, this is her home. She belongs to this royal household. She is my daughter. Thank you. So you need not worry about her. Yes. As you can see, she is nowhere to be seen around now because she went to school. But if you stay a little more, you will see her. She'll be back. It's okay, Your Majesty. I will stay. Yeah, so let me call the guys to take care of you. Um, <clears throat> go! Our king is such a nice man. I am sure that the prince got his goodness from him. Hey! If you see how this man welcomed me to his palace, Nature, Nukumat, 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 I wobbled, I wobbled. I don't care. As if that is not enough, he called his maiden to bring me a well designed food. If you see rice, if you see what is on top of the rice. Oh, Udoka, I enjoyed myself. Hey, we're Tabano. I ate the meat as if it will not come tomorrow. Yeah, because that was the only opportunity I had, though. So I made use of it. I ate meat, I enjoyed myself. Hey, Mama. If you see Amarachi, my granddaughter, mm. you will not recognize her anymore. Amarachi is now Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Hey. <laughs> hey. Ha. Hey. Chine. But, Mama, can you compare someone that stays in the palace and eats whatever she wants to someone that works in the farm and eats only uh, apple and gari? Oh, no, there's a very big difference. So much difference. <laughs> hey, I thank God. I thank God for using the prince to rescue Amarachi. <laughs> Else, I am sure that by now, if Ijoma hasn't killed me, I would have killed her because of that girl. You don't can you really try it. <laughs> You really tried in this family. Don't worry. You see that my plantain at the backyard. Mm. When the plantain is done, you will be the one to take it. Hey! <laughs> you know? Ma, yes, and let me tell you, if our king had wanted another wife, I would suggest you. Ha! Mama. <laughs> Are you sure I'll be interested? I only said I will suggest. Okay. Or do you still prefer going to the farm? Farming under the scorching sun than becoming a lord? Mama, the Igwe is not looking for a wife. Hmm? <laughs> Who knows tomorrow? <laughs> okay, see you then. Oh. My dear. I will peacefully attend a federal university. I don't want any business with a state university. They are too expensive, my ah. dear. No, because me, I prefer a state university. An Amber State University. Yeah, I come. I can't wait to read essay management. I'll be more equipped. Hey, Oba be his one as soon can go in. Hey, 
Go to your Anambra State University and study. I am going to Nsuka, University of Nigeria, to study my law. <laughs> I can't even believe that I have been admitted. Yeah. <laughs> but in a jam tried this year. Yes, so see my jam school. Jam really tried this year. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing we made it. In as much as our schools are going to be different, we must strive to read and graduate with our mates. Who is advising me? Oh, no, 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 no. You are the one advising I'm just, I'm just, me. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. sorry <laughs> oh. I miss you. I miss you. Well, since UNN is what you want, um, we don't have um, a business searching for other universities, so that's where you go and you study law. And like I promised you, I'm going to sponsor you from start to finish. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, my prince. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. God will continue to bless you all the days of your life. You will never lack anything you ask for. God will surely provide for you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Jamal. You know what? Sit, 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 sit. It's okay. I, I can't. I can. Sit. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You know why I'm doing this. Two reasons. First, it's my nature. Secondly, and most importantly, I want you to know that all men are not idiots. There are good men out there. As you go to school to study, I want you to have an open mind. Do not see the men that you meet there as your enemies, but see them as friends. It should help you. I want you to come back home as a barrister with a renewed mind. But even as you mingle, my darling, be careful so that the last experience does not repeat itself. Eh? Stop crying. Eh? It's fine. Yeah, and one more thing. You need a bank account. Huh? <laughs> I've never had an account in my life. I know, that's why I'm here. You need a bank account where I'm going to transfer money to you. You're in school. You can play it out around handouts, feeding. You know, you need money for a lot of things. Where you're, okay, you don't understand, but you will. Okay, just come with me. Do, do I need to get No, I just need you. I'm taking you to the bank right away so we can set up an account. Okay. Shall we? Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you, Mama. <laughs> Mama, you mean Prince bought all this for you? Everything in that bag, he bought everything. Mama, if we are about boutique, I got that. It's bigger than our market square. Eh? Big boutique. Yes, no, no. <laughs> Mama, he even opened an account for me. Eh? I'm telling you, immediately the woman in the bank told me how much he put in my account. Hey! Mama, my head shook. I heard it. <laughs> I didn't know how to thank him. I didn't know what to say to him. I was so happy today, Mama. Hey! Hey! Do you know this man is a godsend? Yes, so. 
Yes, God ma'am. sent him into this family. And that God that sent him will surely bless him and reward him a million fold. Amen. 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 Amen, Mama. Amen. Hi. <laughs> Before you go back to school, mm. I suggest you go to the palace and see Amarachi. Um, Namdi told me to do it. Whoa. I'll go. Whoa. I'll go, Mama. I'll go. <laughs> Hi, Mama. Wait for me for Christmas. Eh? Put it under your bosom. It's the aquatic. Hey! 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 So Kate, this one you're traveling to America to further your education. Who knows when you will be back? Like if you're going to be back soon. <laughs> Don't worry, sweetheart. I am going to be back as soon as possible. As soon as I'm done. But you know, as a qualified nurse, I can be working at the same time schooling. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're That's right. how the education works there, yeah. you know. You're right. <laughs> I'll miss you. Oh, my darling, I'll miss you too. I am so happy for you, seriously. Just that I'll miss you so much. Come on. <laughs> don't miss me too much. Hey, but that don't is what me. I was trying to explain to your brother. Well, he won't understand. You know, my father already has the plans. And I wouldn't want to disappoint him with the pregnancy. I understand, my darling. Hey, don't forget. I don't really know what's staying here without seeing your face uh -huh. and being like so. Don't forget video call all the time. <laughs> promise. I promise. Video call. I promise. All the time. Yes, I would love to be seeing my angel's yeah. face. Don't worry, I promise. Video call oh. all the time, okay? okay. <laughs> um well, Namdi is back. At least they say the back. Know your mother yes she is um well i have to go now baby i'll see you okay okay smile for me <laughs> Darling, i'll miss you do take care of yourself okay? i will i all right. will okay. <laughs> all right bye bye, bye. well that uh, she'll be going back to school and i spoke with her mother and um she thought it wise that she comes here to see you given the fact that her daughter is still here with us you know, the other time she came here, she was um, quite out of line. But um, now, she's a bit put together and um, in her right senses. Wonderful. She's so transformed. Was she the same person that came to the palace gate, banging and shouting like a lunatic? Well, Father, yes, she is. Young woman, you are so heartless. You are not fit to be called a mother. Imagine this little beautiful girl that God gave to you. No matter how she comes, you must appreciate God. Um, anyway, I hope you must have learned your lessons. I have, Your Highness. And I have realized my mistakes. I'm so sorry. 
I'm sorry about the last time I was here. In fact, everything. I beg you to forgive me. I am deeply sorry, sir. Very sorry. Sorry. You have to work so hard to renew her spirit. Show her love. This case you inflicted on her body will remain her greatest pain. Anyway, I have forgiven you. Sure I have. But the onus lies on this little girl, your daughter. So you have to do the needful. Can I... Can I at least hold her? I observed something recently. What is it? Since you're beginning to fall in love with Ijoma, am I right? Hmm. <laughs> it is written all over you. The look on your face confirms that. She is beautiful, isn't she? Hmm. I see. We were going to discuss something with me yesterday. Let's talk about it. Oh, you just changed the topic. But I want you to know something, people. Kate is still there. Yes. Mm. Mama, so life can actually turn like this. Ijoma, our own Ijoma, is now in the university. Hello. Hey. Well, <laughs> Mama, I have nothing to say but to thank the man up there because he has the final say. Hmm. Mm. Since her childhood, she has been telling me that she wants to be a graduate. Yeah. Honestly. Chai. And now God has done it. Hey, you don't know how happy I am. <laughs> Let her go there and study very well. I will be here supporting her. Eh. Eh. Ibidogo, you want to support? Mama, you don't have to worry yourself. The prince can take care of her. It's your, it's your support. Free education does not mean that government will die for your sake. Oh. You have to contribute to your own. Okay, Mama. 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 I'll be supporting. Okay. <laughs> support. Yes, hello, Kate. Oh, are you serious? Oh, my darling, you're blessed. How? Oh, I'm so happy for you. Yeah, yeah. Thank God for Johnny Mercy. Oh, she's here with me. Yes. Okay, let me give her the phone. Hello. Good evening, Auntie Kate. I'm fine. Okay. Bye. Oh, hello, darling. Well, I'm so happy for you. Are you serious? Uh -huh. It should be better than here, of course. <laughs> you know where you are? America. <laughs> hey, hey, but no matter what, you just have to face your studies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, darling. <laughs> oh, all right, sure. Good night. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, sorry, babe. Come in, the door is open. Oh, bro, you're back. Welcome. Yes. Oh. But you're sleeping. Yeah, she's sleeping. Let's see. 
know she had cried out for for chocolate biscuits and no, I got them and she's sleeping. Oh, maybe I should have one. At least I'm a human being. Oh, Kate called this night. Yeah, she has gotten to America. You know, she actually traveled to further her education. Please um, let me know when I'm at work, so. I'm not making sense. <sighs> <sighs> You have not seen your daughter since you came back from school. I don't know your reasons. Or you better go and talk with the prince so you bring her back to me. The prince traveled out and I can't just go to the palace like that. I have to wait for him to come back. Moreover, since Amarachi left, you've been fending for yourself. Why do you need her back? Um, Bringing her back is not actually the problem. But I want you to start recreating mother and child bond between both of you. Very, very important. I mean, buying her things, biscuits, toys, whatever that will make her happy. You need to do that, oh. Eh? And I know that this is the same advice that the king gave to you. Okay, Mama, I've heard you. Okay, please, I'm off to the market. Remember to see you, dog, and that was bitten by the snake. Mama, you said that before, and I said I will go. I have heard. <laughs> Try and add small weight. How are you? How did you get back? Nah, I came back last night. The old up around my school, Joshua, was so terrible. Are you serious? Hmm. I wonder why our politicians and government mm. will not fulfill the election promises. Nah, you are still talking about politicians and fulfilling of promises. That will happen in 2035. Yeah. I don't even know when. Hmm. The only thing we should be thinking about is committing our politicians to the hands of God. Huh. That's our only our only way out now. Well, the students are suffering, no? How is school? How is everything? How is life? It's not easy at all. The quiz, assignments, and all of that. It's not easy. Yeah, well, eh? <laughs> it is well. Anyway, look at us. Two years has gone just like that. Huh. Like play, like play. Two years has gone by. <laughs> so, why is the law studies? My sister, you see that thing called law? Now, the reason. Hey, you know, we just got to school and say, want to study law? Want to study law? Now, why are this simple? It is not easy. Hey. We have law of human rights, family law, yes, criminal law of this, law of that, law of career. Because, hey, but we are pushing it. What will we do? We started it. We must end it. That is it. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll be going to see my sister when I'm done preparing this food. She was beaten by a snake. I want you to accompany me. Oh, ha. snake? What? I still hate that, you know, Biko, Biko, Biko. Ah, mama, I still like that, you know, Biko, Biko. Who, who likes snake? No, everybody hates snake. No, I don't even, I can't stand it. <laughs> Join me. Keep your hand like. What's up? What's trying to do? I don't understand. In university, baby. Let's see how come here for. I don't see the university. Don't university. Come on, do this. What you detest is another person's prayer point. What you reject. Another person will accept it. So don't you look down on anybody. Don't you take anybody for granted. Everyone's a blessing. Everything is a lesson. Accept your fate and try to live on. Oh, value everything you've got. Try to value everything you've got. Cause when you throw the treasure away Someone who knows the value is gonna take it Put it together and then you will realize that What's lost is really a treasure 
When you get rid of a treasure, someone who knows the value we became. Put it together and you will know what you lost is really a treasure. Come and take my advice. Value everything you got. Clara, Oluchi, how are you girls? Fine. Fine. Where are you coming from? Ah, so you guys are smiling like this. Umano, we'll see later. Oh yeah, let's go. See, the last time I went to the eye clinic, I was told I need glasses, although I waved it. But now, I really think I need it. I don't understand. What is bringing eyeglasses in this issue? What did we just pass now? Is that not a Joma? Of course. She's a Joma. What happened? Hey, look how beautiful she is. What happened? Oluchi. So, you are no longer with us in this village? Mm -mm. I am here. <laughs> Prison Namonde took her and has been training her in university. He will marry her. As soon as she graduates. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, oh. So that's the secret of her beauty. Yes. So. Hey, hey. What about that her daughter that she wanted to kill? Oh, has she finally killed the girl? Because I have not been seeing her around. Mm -mm. When Grace speaks for you, nobody will stop your shine. Mm -hmm. Eh? Mm -hmm. The little girl is in the palace as we speak. And Prince Namunde has adopted her. Please, 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 please. I know we joke a lot. But can you just be sincere for once? You mean Prince Namdi wants to marry Ijoma? Yes, so <laughs> please, 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 clean that mouth. Don't say it next time. That will not be possible on this planet. Ijoma, mm -hmm. that wicked soul, Prince Namdi will never try it. It's not possible. Uh uh. What are you saying? <sighs> please, please, please. Can we bet? Yes, let's bet. But money must be involved, you know that. Okay. How much? Uh, Five thousand. Yeah. We bet. It will not happen. Mm. It will happen. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah. Enemy of God. Baby, mm. mm. follow her. Mm. Mm. Wait for me. Oh. Just like that. What would we have said? That's why I always tell people to be careful around their houses and their farms. If you ask me, I'll tell you to fumigate your house. So. Hmm? Joma, I have fumigated it already. It was my carelessness that made the snake beat me. Because I saw it before it escaped and just came back from nowhere and just beat me. Chai, ne, sorry eh. Hope you'll take your medications. You know snake can be very poisonous. No. You how is mama oh. mama is fine she was even the one that cajoled me to come here today that i make sure i see you today today hmm? Mama, I'm ready for you. You are ready? Yes. Ijoma, you refuse to go and see your daughter at the palace. I have said these times without number since you came back from school. You refuse to listen. You have mine though. What are you even learning in that school? Eh? Don't they teach you how to relate with your family? Mama. I told you before that Prince Namdi is not around. He's not in the village. Am I supposed to go to the palace without him being there? Oh, are you going there? Mama, I can't. I can't go there. Moreover, I, I don't even want to see the king. Hmm. I know why I'm saying this. tomorrow. That child is growing fastly. Don't complain. 
when she will start to treat you bad, don't complain. Mama, no. because I am I'm, I'm running late. I'll call you when I get to school. Bye bye. No way I'm saying it though. Hey, oh come like a boss. So that was how I was able to settle with my father. And he forgives me. Oh. Oh. No. Nem, your father is a good man. Not like Mazu Dekwe, who looks gentle, but his mind is a collection of everything. Um, that reminds me. How about that old man? Has he finally gotten a wife? <laughs> yes, sir. Okeke, his cousin, got him one young lady for Miseke, who has two sons at home, for his father who couldn't have male child. Then she decided to marry. Since then, they have been living together. So the woman is exactly what he wanted. <laughs> A fine lady with a nice girl. But she's not that young. She should be around 36 or so. 36 or so. And you say she's not a young woman. She was. Uh, that, that, that is not the story for today. You know the greatest joy mm -hmm. is that at least everyone will now be free from a ma and his retired school principal father of the yes, <laughs> can say that again. Yes, sir. Oh, that's nice. That's oh, beautiful. At I'm least. Like I've been telling you on the phone, what you did was very bad. If not for one thing, I would have cost you a bone gun. Eh? A young girl that lost her father, I brought her here to help her go to school. Out of the blues, you shattered her plan. Shut down her dreams! Hey! I was thinking, if only I were a real father, because no one from my groins will do such a thing that he did. Papa, Papa, I have pleaded with you to forgive me. I'm sorry. Those days were days of youthful exuberance. I was so stupid and acted out of ignorance. I was so childish. But I'm grown now and I'm no better. And I've come to say I'm sorry. I regret my actions. I, I just wish there is a way I can just you know, turn back the hands of time. I'm really sorry. You better...
start going to find her wherever you will see her and plead for her forgiveness if she forgives you fine but i doubt if she will ever forgive you because she passed through a lot oh papa don't worry just just relax okay i am here now and i promise you that i will do everything within my power papa i will go out of my way to make sure that i get things right yes i will make amends trust me on that uh, well that is better so papa tell me i hope you are enjoying those foreign drinks i got for you but i am not talking about the foreign one go and look for that girl Nuge. Oh. Okay, Papa. Okay, right, right. What will I do for you? Get even game ready to one Hi. Look at how you came into my poor home and wiped out my tears. The tears of a poor widow. If it's a panyam mirinanyam. Hi. So now I am the mother of a lawyer. Yes, Mama. Uh, very soon, you'll be addressed as Mama Lawyer. <laughs> I think that this drama, in all honesty, is a very brilliant young lady. She's just a victim of circumstance. Um, she's doing well with her studies and very soon um, she'll be done with law school and then she can be addressed as a barrister. Hey! <laughs> just in fact, eh, there's nothing this creator of the whole universe cannot do. Yeah? Look at my daughter who thought that her life has ended. Ifuwa, one God will bless you. See? You will never lack in this life. See? You will live to see your grandchildren up to the fourth generation. See? You will remember your father. Ah. Yes, you will remember him. Eh, but I never. Kai kan namurai, kan namurai. Iga kan nae. Aye, you will live long. You say. Aye. Uh, I have a few more rounds to make in town. Uh, let me take my leave. I'll be on my way. All right. I'm going to drive for my own. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, now, welcome. Thank you, ma'am. I am Chinedu from Oba Village. Okay. No, oh. You are Ijoma's mother. Eh, I'm a mom, but I'm a Okay, um, uh, is she around? Oh, she's not around. She's at the school where she's uh, doing her law or something. Eh, I'm going to go to the school. I'm going to go be back next week. Oh. Next week? Yes. Okay. I would really want to see her, so I I will come back next week. 
no problem. I'll come out to her. Oh, okay. uh, next week you'll come back. Alright, um, I don't know. Do you have her, her phone number so I can, I can call her? Mama, I'm happy here. I'm not happy. I don't have it. Uh, I don't have a uh, phone number. My phone, my phone, my phone number. I don't have. Uh, just come back next week. Okay, oh, so uh, uh, are you her schoolmate? I'm a friend. Friend. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time, man. I I will I will come back next week. Thank, thank you. you. And um, I just just have this. Just get anything for yourself. Move about you. Yes. Thank you. Hey, na da lo kwa o. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Da lo da lo da lo chine. Thank you, ma. Bia bia, but chikwe, it's a new one, yeah. But when I come next week, thank you. Okay, ne next week. Da lo o. Next week. Next week, o. Bye bye. Next next week, o. Next week. Hey, oh Jugo. Oh, Jugo! You changed completely. Really? Yes. <laughs> I don't understand. How do you mean I changed well, completely? Well, you look more beautiful now. Yes! Seriously, oh, I thought you said um, being an American nurse is so tedious. So what actually happened? Maria, please forget about uh, it. No, you were just hitting everything. <laughs> just forget it. Um, by the way, how is the king? Yeah, the king is fine. Oh. Good to know. Amara, look at you. You can see Amara. Amara has grown so much. <laughs> look at your chest. I missed you so much. My darling, I missed you too. You look so beautiful now. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Now her again. <laughs> okay, let's go in and see my father. Of course, I missed him too. I'm here, are you Daughter, you are a very kind woman. Everything you sent to Amaraji, I took notice of them. You kept calling to know how she was faring. So kind of you. My God will bless you. God bless you to your majesty. Amaraji has been nice to me too. The father her mother treated her bad and she found herself here in this palace really shows that she's a blessed child well kate i told my brother yesterday that you were going to come back and the first thing he did this morning was to ask if you called well daisy i am not here for your brother i came here to see your majesty amarachi and of course you I am not here to see your brother. Uh, he still loves you. Don't forget that. Well, yeah, if it is the will of God that both of you get married, it shall come to pass. Your Majesty, Nandi has never called me for once since I traveled. Well, the fact that I'm still single is because I've not found someone that I love. If not, I would have gotten married long time ago. No, no, Kate, like father said, if it is the will of God, definitely you both will end up together. The mother says she's in school, but she'll be back next week. So, I'll wait. Like I said, I will surely see her. Yes, I must see her. All I know is that this movement is going to be a fruitless one. 
Because as a woman, I understood what rape is all about. It's actually a pity that I was not around when this whole thing happened. I would have prevented it. Now it's over 10 years and nobody cares. Mama, because of the way you handled the whole issues, you couldn't see the legs to go see mother and child. Mom, how is it my fault? Eh? She did do he lied to me. He lied to me that he was not responsible. Eh? If I had known, I would have handled it maturely. Eh? Now it's over 10 years. What do we do? I'm confused already. Eh? Hey! Everything lies on Ijoma right now. But, brother, we have to go see her first. And her approach will definitely determine how we will follow everything up. Sure. I, I must see her. Yes, it's a must. It's not a problem. Mama, Mama, Mama what, 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 what happened? I am not happy with, with the way this house is and everything. Just look at the curtains, so outdated and worn off. What happened? I don't know. I've been sending money. What can you even send the You have been sending money, yes. But uh, we have to think. But for the house issue, ask your father. Um, I have a gist for you. Really? A gist? Okay, I'm listening. I met this. Uh, uh, um, don't, don't go there. <laughs> don't go there. Oh, oh, I see I, you. I, are you okay? You be like that. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, Lamb is back. <laughs> Ah, you're going to break my waist one day. Huh? You're growing into a very beautiful lady, you know. Yes. Huh? How are you today? Fine. Huh? You don't want to come with me. Okay. Yeah. Come, yeah. Come, 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 come. Yes, welcome. <laughs> yeah, get in. Right. Fantastic. Absolutely. Well, I, I said that Kate is back. I said welcome. No, I don't understand this whole thing. After five whole years, how are you actually like this? Ha! Huh. Sweetheart, you amaze me. You were the one who woke me up this morning to ask if Kate was back. And when you saw her, you acted up. <laughs> At least I said hello. Oh, is that how to greet a friend? No more care. No more smile. She left for abroad to study. Now she has graduated and she came back. And all you could do was that mellow drama out there. Ah, that was bad. You should value friendship. It's important. The fact that you said it's over. It's not enough reason for you to keep malice. Bro, oh, nobody knows tomorrow. Mm -hmm. She might be of help to you tomorrow or the other way around. I don't like this whole thing, please. You, should, you better change. Yes, forgive her, please. I don't even know what she did to you. Just give forgive me her. A it's too much. To write my I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, yeah. Forgive I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. 
take off my shoes. Um, I was going to say something in the car, but you never give me the opportunity to. I know. I want to say it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. I want to say a very big thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you mean? Mm -hmm. For what is that exactly? Thank you for what? Thank you for everything. Okay. Namdi, you've been such a very nice man. I know. Okay. Let's get serious. <laughs> no, joke apart. Right. You did for me what no man ever did. You've been amazing. You've been nice. You wiped away my tears. Look at me. Ijoma. Roaming around this village is now a barrister. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I mean, who knows what would have happened if not for Amarachi. That innocent little girl you were trying to beat to a pulp that morning. Huh? You know, sometimes what you don't value values you a lot. You know? I regret my actions. I really want to make things right. I, I, I want to have her back. I just want that daughter and mother and mother connection. Ijama, do you love me? Hmm? Yes, I do. Because I sponsored your schooling, huh? Eh? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Come on, I lo who wouldn't love you? Mm. I do love you, sincerely from my heart. Not because you saw me through school, but because you never demanded for anything. You have never, ever demanded to have carnal knowledge of me, regardless of... <laughs> you know, you could have taken advantage of me. You did everything for me. It would have been so easy for you to take advantage of me because, you know, things I didn't ask for, you did. You're a great man. You're good. You are nice. And that is the reason I love you. So now you can love a man and appreciate a man. Now you know that all men are not beasts. Huh? Look. I want you to open up your heart and forgive this man. Open up your heart and let it go. Especially now that you have traveled, you have you're well read, you have achieved academic excellence, you have fulfilled your dream of being a lawyer. Let it go. I know it hurts, but please forget all that transpired and forgive. Please. That man made me worthless. He tore my skin. He he broke me into pieces. I went through so much pain. I would never. Oh no. I would never. No. Ever. No, 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 no. I would No. Never say never. <laughs> never. Never say never. I'll be great on my attitude. Please forgive me. Just give me a second chance to write my mind. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have been waiting for the marriage between the prince and Ijoma. Uh -huh. But there is no news yet. No, mm, why? Calm down. Mm. Eh? Are you aware that royal wedding takes a lot of planning? Do you know why I call Ferrara Zola in you? I know. <laughs> but the news should have been everywhere now. No, you're right. Ijoma is now a lawyer. She has been called to the bar, I believe, very soon. 
After her youth service, the traditional marriage will come. I guess will be But remember, it was a human being that got her pregnant, not an animal. As such, the man will still come for his child. This one you said the prince wants to take the child to. How? Oh. Oluchi. That child was raised in the palace. The palace took care of her school up till today. Where is the so called father? Was he not the one that raped her and made her pregnant? Even warranted an old man like Nazu Dekwe to ask her hand in marriage. Here you are talking rubbish. Child and father. No, please leave Mazu Dekwe out of this. That young lady has really suffered. Especially when she was carrying the child. And look at her now. God has remembered her. Hmm. And wipe her tears. Now hey. you're talking. It's hmm. well. Now you're talking. <laughs> What are you doing in my father's house? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Get out! 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 It's okay, I just come. We have left already now, please. <laughs> guy is a beast. He destroyed my life. He ruined my future. He made me a thing of mockery in this village. What did he come here to do? To show me how rich and how rich and influential he is. Is that why he came here? Ijoma, please calm down. This didn't happen years ago. The young man must have been here to tender an apology. You should have listened to him. Did I hear you say listen to him? Chesa, have you ever been raped before? Do you know the trauma 
I went through. Do you know how I suffered with that pregnancy? I had no father, no brother, no sister except my mother. What did I do? Where did I go wrong? That I was sent to his father's house to continue my studies. And the beast tore my virginity apart. And you want me to listen to him? Ijoma, Ijoma, please calm down. I know what you did was bad, but you are now what God said you are. And God has found you worthy. And he has blessed you through the prince. Why can't you just forgive and let it go? Ijoma, Biko, let go. Please. I won't forgive him. I won't. Funny enough, he has been here before to see my mother. He gave my mother some money and my mother didn't know who he was. I swear to you, if my mother had known that he is the same beast who has caused me these whole problems the whole time, he wouldn't have left here the same way he came. But I know what to do. Ijoma, Ijoma, don't do anything. You had better start considering on how you are going to forgive him and move on with your life. I'm not going to move on with my life because I am going to file a lawsuit against that bastard. I will make sure he goes to prison. It's just like him out there hurting people's children, girl children every day. Are you asking me to forgive him and let him go? Aji, please, don't do anything, please. Oh, my Yoma. Please, Ijoma, calm down. But don't do anything. Please calm down. I understand how you feel. I do. I'm a woman like you. I understand how you feel. Please calm down. Please. Please. Please calm down. What should I have done? That time, your mother was calling her names and promptly refused me from saying anything. Was it her tears? Her broken heart and all that? The truth is, she need to, my son. No matter how much you must have made in this life, building house here and there, you remain a rapist. If you do not go and make that innocent girl forgive you, you remember when I was sounding a note of warning to you to stop following those street boys. Now, look at where it has landed you. Nay. Hmm? Nay, we must not continue to dwell in the past. Eh? It takes a man to do what my son is doing right now. She should understand that this thing happened long ago when they were all younger. I'm sure my son is more mature now to handle things. For a man to stoop so low and ask for her forgiveness, it's not easy. So she should consider it. Mama, please. Stop talking like that and act like a woman. This girl might decide to take this matter up and it will end in court. It's in court. Just that she may not know her rights. Brother, please. Do not relent. Press on. Not because she had a child for you, but because you did the worst thing anyone could do to a woman. Yes. Let her see the true remorse. She may forgive you, but as for the marriage, <laughs> nothing in this life would make her to agree to marry you. Because she's already seen you as a beast. It will only take the grace of God for her to agree to that. I, I, I look so stupid right now. I regret everything. I wish I didn't do this. I, I wish this whole thing never happened. <laughs> I wish I didn't do this to an innocent girl whose father died and was brought to this house for refuge. I regret the whole thing. Even if she forgives me. Will, will God ever forgive me? It's alright, my son. God will forgive you if you go for that. 
It's okay, bro. Stop crying. She will forgive It's okay. Everything will be fine, bro. I think I've learned my lessons And I want to set things right again Give me a second chance Just to right my wrongs I'll make it up to you hey. I wish I can turn back days of time I wish I can go back to the past and write on my run or do what I did to you. But I'm down on my knees saying, Please forgive me. I am sorry for the past. I regret all my attitude. Please forgive me. Just keep. Mama, good afternoon. Mama, I'm sure you must have known who gave you money the other day. And that the person is a beast. Beast! And that is exactly what you are. And I am happy that you understand your true nature. Beast! It is good that you came. Let me bring your money for you. I still kept it. So that you leave my compound immediately. Because a rapist and a beast should not be seen anywhere in my house. Or I will shout so that my husband's kinsmen will all gather here for you. I am sorry. I am sorry about the whole thing. I am here so that you and the Joma can forgive me. I know that what I did was wrong. But Mama, please, it happened when I was a child. I went against my father's advice. I disobeyed him, yes. Because he did advise me against these street boys and they actually introduced me so introduced me to all manner of nonsense, Indian hemp, cannabis and all that. And this happened. But mama please, please just see me as your son. See me as your son, Mama, and forgive me. Thank you. Was that an excuse? Now tell me, was that an excuse? <laughs> rape is rape. No matter the age and the time it happened. You knew that my daughter had no one that will speak for her. And you did what you did to ruin her life. Her future. <laughs> you were aware that my husband died and my only son also died in motor accident. And that was why your father, who is a good man, Came and took his job out from me just to make my body less for me. For him to lessen my body. And that gave you a way to my daughter's life. You took advantage of her. <laughs> Get out of my house. I'm ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of you. You're nothing but a bunch of disgrace. Please forgive me. 
That young man has been dead. And I am sure he has changed. I know what he did was an abomination. But the truth remains that he is the father of your child. Please forgive him. If you ask me one more time to forgive Chinidu, you automatically become my enemy. Why would you say that to me? Why? Do you know what that man did to me? Do you know what it feels like to be designed by rape and become pregnant with no one standing by you except you, my mother? And you want me to forgive him? I would rather die. I would rather die than forgive Chinidu. Mama, don't ask for this favor again. I beg you. Don't. Ijuma, please listen to us. If not for anything, just because the way God remembered you through the prince. He's not even asking for Amarachi. Of course, he can't do that. Considering the fact that you weren't married to him and Amarachi was as a result of rape incident. What we're saying is for you to forgive him so he can, he can leave you alone. Please, just, just forgive him. Please. Don't you ever! never ever do it and if any of you make any statement about this incident again I swear to God who made me I will lose it we should wait for the third badge if that is the point. But nah, all I know is that we are done with school. You are done with school. Chinas, I thought I told you to write those carryovers while I was in law school. At least by now we'll be talking about youth service. But I told you about that very stupid lecturer that swore that he must sleep with me before I leave the school. And he kept on failing me and my sister. It was the SCG president that recently reported the matter to the Senate. That is where it is now. That is where the matter is to now. No, no, wow. You know, I just thank God that I never ever went through that while I was in school. How I for take handula? <laughs> Even as I ugly rich, I hide my face for school. Story. What would I have done? For story. story? <laughs> uh -huh. no. How is that your child's father? My daughter doesn't have a father who is a beast. And don't mention it again. But you told me how would you wear when you gave birth to your daughter. And that should also explain how old it is. You both were younger and he might not have known what he did. All I'm asking you to do Ike, is to forgive. God has raised you beyond measures, my friend. Chinaza, Chinaza, I have spoken to you about preaching forgiveness to me before, haven't I? Moreover, the prince has adopted my daughter. He is now a father to her. No, I don't know what he has in mind. But please, stop preaching forgiveness to me. Like you will propose? Like you must propose? Well, he... I don't know. He hasn't said anything, but if he does, I mean... You will accept. Why are you happy? <laughs> but let me ask you something. For a man who single-handedly saw me through school, while I studied a professional course, he is not married, and I'm single. I know so you be Olodo, but at least you pass mass for jam. Do the calculation. Hey, 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 someone is in love. Hey, my friend, my friend. I just do it. You've not been yourself for some days now. What is eating my brother up? What is it? Oh, I'm okay. It's nothing you should bother your head about. I'm fine. 
I'm your sister. You should talk to me. What is it? Oh. I'm not really comfortable not seeing you being happy. You know that. I'll be okay. Really? Yeah. Oh, I just thought of something. Big bull. Is it actually about choosing between a lawyer and a microbiologist turned a nurse? Well, I will advise you to think properly because one is from a refined Christian home while the other is a rape victim who had a child for another man. So big bull, think properly, okay? Cut out. Right. Hey, what are you telling me? I mean, why would you be playing this slow game with this girl? A girl that has your child. She's with your child and you're playing this rubbish with her. Taking it as if it's just a common thing. What am I? What on you? It came. You wait, wait, don't it came me. You know how we suffered in abroad to make this money, right? And God blessed you so much, more than any other person. Now I'm a kiss in from this girl now. Not for you. There's something you don't understand. You came. This is a rape matter. Rape. Rape. Do you do you even understand? It's not as if we were dating and you know something. Rape proper. Is this something I should just you know come all out and use force or something? I don't, I don't get it. And so what? Now you do you guys are still no? Nah, it, it was a wine. Man, I don't understand you. I don't understand you. See, there was a rape, right? After the rape, there was pregnancy. A child came. Abi, Abi, the child not be your own. It's mine. And what are you telling me now? Go for your child. See, in fact, see, let me tell you. It's not that I'm supporting rape. If it were to be my sister, when the one year gave me, huh? I not hear you. But this one has taken long. It has been for years. Oh, but I didn't know why I didn't know one day. Give me now, because you have. If you love that girl, propose to her. If she refuses, man, collect your child and walk away. Nadia, Baba go. Seen you, seen the beast. What are you doing in my house again? I beg you, can you just calm down and listen I to me? I will not calm down and listen to anything. I am going to say this again. I never ever want to see you in my life. So please take yourself and the lady standing beside you and get out of my father's house. Ijima, please, calm down. Do you even know me? Of course I don't. Obviously you are a beggar who has come here to beg on his behalf. I want you two to leave this house now. Your mother was too harsh. Well, I am Edith, Chinidu's younger sister. And yes, we are beggars because we have really offended you. And as a woman, I want you to listen to me as a fellow woman. I would not listen to anything from you. Let me ask you, have you ever been violated? Has any man ever taken you against your wish? I was a young girl who has never ever been with a man before. And your brother took my virginity. Your mother came here, mocked me before my mother and my kinsmen. 
Called an innocent girl who has never ever been with a man. Which? And you stand here to ask for my forgiveness. I will tell you. I tell your brother to leave this place because I know the only reason you're here is to take my child. I suffered to groom. Take your little sister out of this place because I do not Ijoma, I do not want to go just, crazy. Just calm down, please. Just just calm down, Ijoma. Calm down. Take a deep breath and listen to me. I am not here for the child. I am here to tell you what happened. I'm here to tell you about me. Please, just give me the chance and listen. Ijoma, please, listen to him and his sister. Be gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry about the whole thing. I wronged you in all ramifications. Yes, I know I am wrong. Forgive me, please. Just find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am so sorry. Please. You know you're lucky. You're so lucky I have grown. You're so lucky I am a mother. You're so lucky I'm a better person. And you're lucky I gained education. Else, you wouldn't want to see the other side of me. You would take yourself and your little sister and get out of my father's house. I am not going to say it again. Absolutely. Get out. I think I've learned my lessons. And I want to set things right again. You give me a second chance just to right my wrongs. I'll make it up to you. Hey. I wish I can turn back this of time. I wish I can go back to the past and right on my run But do what I did to you But I'm down on my knees saying please forgive me I am sorry for the past I regret all my attitude Please forgive me Just give me a second chance To right my wrongs Please forgive me I am sorry for the past I regret all my attitude Please forgive me Just give me a second chance To right my wrongs Turn back the hands of time. I wish I can go back to the past and right on my wrong. But do what I did to you. But I'm down on my knees saying, Please forgive me. I am sorry for the past. I regret all my attitude. Please forgive me. Just give me a second chance to right my wrongs. Please forgive me. I am sorry for the past. I regret all my attitude. Please forgive me. Just give me a second chance to right my wrong. You have to take it easy and follow her. Continue to show her love. When she sees that you're truly sorry, who knows? She would accept and forgive you. As a woman, I understand how it really hurts. What, what, what else am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Tell me! For how long? For how long would I continue to take these insults? I think I would have to go to court. Yes. To claim my child. Even if you weren't serving some jail terms. Provided I, 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 I get my baby. Brother, no judge wants to hear the word rape. 
In case you don't know, rape is a serious case. Just that Africans and their government doesn't take it serious because it's only happening to the female gender. We must all lend our voices and deal with whoever that is involved in it. The trauma it causes the female gender is too huge. Look, you have made money and you built this mansion. This case can actually take off everything in one second. That's why you just have to calm down and follow it properly. What else? Wait. What? Calm down. Just calm down. You committed a crime, remember? Calm down. Hey, you mean you went with your sister and she did not listen to you? My dad, Ijama told me to my face that over her dead body will she forgive me and I'm not going to see the child. What are you telling me? Is she crazy? Like, is she going north? Which one year? See, she's, she's so lucky that I'm not the one involved. Right. Else I would have used the money I made in Europe dealing with her, man. What are you telling me? You see that child, guy? She must provide that baby. Now, I'm lying as well. No, come the door. You are a man. Else, something bad eh, would happen to her, man. No, 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 no! Don't give my brother such advice. I am a woman and I know how it feels when a girl is being raped. Let's not open our mouth and be talking anyhow because you are black people who doesn't value women like the whites. Brother, you must try as much as you can to get Ijoma's mind back. Get her line or something. Send her text messages telling her how sorry you are. No woman is a devil. But our approach determines how a woman reacts. Edith, you've defended your folks so well, right? <laughs> Maybe we should do as you said. Oh, yeah. Please, brother, don't go to Joma's house with the likes of Ikim. Because he would definitely scatter the whole process. I do. I can't see myself forgiving Chinidu. He disgusts me so bad. No, I can't forgive him. I am already in love with Prince Namdi. Oh my God, why me? How can I leave the man who has been taking care of me this whole time? I know once I allow this Chini do and forgive him, something must follow up. And I don't want it. Namdi has shown me that all men are not the same. He has never for a day asked me of the color of my pant or the size of my breast with all the money he spent on me while I was in school. I know he loves me so much even though he hasn't proposed to me. I know he's just waiting for the right time to do so. Do I just forgive this beast or should I keep chasing him away? Whew. I don't want the prince to... Anyway, I know what to do. Since the last time I saw you with Ijoma, I haven't seen you again. Or have you relocated to the city permanently? No. Yes, now. You know, you students, once you graduate, you just reside at the city and forget about us in the village. That's not true. You know, after school, it's youth service. That's what I'm rolling around for. Biko, how is Ijoma, my friend? Well, Ijoma is fine. Uh -huh, that reminds me. I want you to do something for me. Okay. 
please help me talk to Ijoma to forgive the father of her child. Myself and Mama have spoken to her, but she doesn't want to listen to any of us. Maybe you try. Let her know that if she forgives him, peace will reign in her heart. I've equally asked her to forgive. Just that the trauma with rape and pregnancy is only too hard to forgive. We will pray that God touches our spirits. We will keep on talking to them. Sorry to stress. Your face look kind of striking. Are you not the same girl I, I met at Ijema's house the other time? Oh, yeah, I remember. You're Chinedo, right? Oh, yes. Um, good thing I met you. Um, you are someone close to her. Please, I need you to talk to Ijema for me. Please. Tell her I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for everything. I regret all my actions. You know, there are stupid things that we do out of, you know, youthful exuberance and all that. But now I know better. Please, make her understand that I'm a changed person now. Please. Okay, don't worry. I've never met a man like you that is so humble and patient. But the truth is that you may not love your drama. You're only doing this just because you want the child. You know, you men can be so cunning. You never can tell. You can be sure. And let me remind you. Whether I ask for forgiveness or not, and whether she forgives me or not, it does not matter. The child is mine. And when she grows, she will definitely ask of the father. But that's not what I want. I want a situation whereby we do what is good. Because what is what doing is what doing good. Yeah, and that is why I've, you know, please talk to her for me. Or better still, you can just give me her line so that I can call her and, you know, make her see reasons with me. I'll give you a number, but please, 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 don't tell her I gave you a number, please. Trust me, I won't tell her. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Okay, um, can I still remember? Oh, oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, there okay. you go. Okay. Um, thank you very much. You're welcome. That's so nice. Seems here. Oh. Can I sit? Yes, please. I loved you and I lawyer, a solicitor. That's wonderful. <laughs> when Nandi told me you were a lawyer, I was so elated. You see, in life, dreams die when there is no one to assist in transforming that dreams into reality. Someone that will transform paradoxes of life into platitude. See how you've just transformed. That's great. Thank you very much, my king. <laughs> and I want to say a bigger thank you to you, Nandi. You showed up and rescued a dying dream. I will forever be indebted to this royal home. And on that note, 
I wish to make this announcement. <laughs> I want to be the police and community lawyer free of charge, just to show how committed I am to the king and Namdi here for seeing me through school. That's great. You mean you do our cases pro bono? Very much. <laughs> That's good. She's quite dead. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Thank you. Me, how are you? I'm fine. Welcome. I got you something. <laughs> oh. Amara, your mother is calling you. Do I have a mother? No, I don't. But I'm not auntie because you rescued me. She could have killed an innocent baby and found her way into her womb. Daddy, because you welcomed me to this palace and gave me a sleeping mat. Auntie Adesi, you took me as a last born and made me sleep with you on your own royal bed. She could have killed me and buried me as she always threatened. Did I offend you? Tell me, did I offend you? <laughs> if not want you, Doka and Grandma, I don't know what I would have done. Amarachi, you are still the intelligent girl that you are. The fact that you were able to recount all these miserable stories shows you are still the intelligent girl that you are. I warned you. I advised you to hook up with her. Love her. Show her love. Find a way to erase all the sad memories she happened. I wonder how she will forget all this. Anyway, I know it is the strains and stress of schools that will strain you from carrying out my instructions. That's not an excuse. Hello. Have I always gotten you what you want? Same as daddy here, right? Gets you everything that you want and you're fine. How about Auntie Daisy? She's always making sure that you're happy. <laughs> Why can't my mother treat me like Auntie Daisy and Auntie Kate? She gave up for me new clothes and new shoes. For the past five good years, I will set my eyes on you. Where were you when I needed you most? Where were you? But don't worry, I don't need your things. When I see my own daddy, I will tell him everything you have done to me. <laughs> Kate was here yesterday and she bought her things. It's okay, Ma. You know that I love you. I've always looked out for you. I protected you. I've never lied to you. I want you to have a forgiving heart. Every human being. How would I call the good, the bad, and the ugly? Let's just say that we saw quite early in your mother's life her bad side and maybe ugly side. Her times have passed. She has grown, just like you have grown, into a very beautiful young lady. Your mother has also grown to be more understanding, to become more mature. Now she values you more. 
Your mother has a beautiful heart. I want you for my sake, for daddy's sake, the sake of her dear days that you love so much, to forgive. She's your mother. I want you to look at the woman who brought you into this world and forgive her. Mothers are irreplaceable, I tell you. Be good in them. I know that you're hurt, but I know that you can do it. Please, go to your mother. She misses you so much. Amarachi, Daddy. forgive your mother for only placing your heart to forgive her. She has really changed. You are still part and parcel of this family. You are still the little princess of our palace. Anywhere you are, will not forget you. If anybody dares you any time, any day, I will roar like the lion I am and show that person as a cracker's biscuit. Forgive her. I don't want you to think I left because I wanted to. <laughs> I needed time to heal. I needed to find peace with myself. I needed to understand that I have a child. I beg you. Please forgive me. I know there is no justifiable reason whatsoever for everything I did to you. But I am deeply sorry. I had lost my father at the same time. I, I knew I was pregnant with you. Amarachi. My first fruit. Please. Make you my child. <laughs> my first fruit. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean any of those things. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> sorry. As a forgiving spirit. You really hurt that girl, you know. Your actions affected her in so many ways. But, um, she has a good heart. 
No, she came to me last night and told me that she would like to come home and spend some time with you and Grandma. Shh. She said that to you? Yeah, she did. I would really love for that to happen. I want her back. At least to see a new me. That would be nice. You know, I'd like to ask you something. Go ahead. Do you love me? Listen, I want you to put aside the fact that you see me as a benefactor, as a prince, as, as one who's been there for you, if you all through this time. I want you to tell me if you love me as human sitting right in front of you. The fact that um, that you were courageous the very first day I met you with all my stunts and everything you didn't shout you didn't hit me you just took my daughter and listened and the fact that you fulfilled your promises it's amazing. So of all the things that you have mentioned, which is closest to your heart? The fact that I went to school, read law, became a lawyer. And the fact that you never looked back and fulfilled all your promises. I appreciate that. And since you appreciate me, can I... Can I ask you a favor? Go ahead. Anything, I'll do it. <laughs> I'd like for you to please forgive this man who violated you so many years ago. You told me he's been coming. You told me he's been begging. He's been trying to get a, a word in. He's been trying to get across to you. He's been doing the best that he can, please. Please. I know it's hard. But you can do it. I want you to have a forgiving heart. Amarachi, your daughter, forgive you. You can forgive him. I don't know who this man is, but he's a man like me. And I'm not infallible either. I'm a human being. With so many imperfections, yet you love me. How about you just <sighs> love him a little and let it go? Tomorrow he's pregnant with so many possibilities. You don't have to be with him if you don't want to, but he can be your family friend. He is still the father of your child. Please. Please.
also kill you. I forgive him. Thank you. You promise that when he comes to you, you're going to listen to him. What is with you and this rapist? I'm a barrister. What? Stop using the word rapist, okay? Please. I want you to promise me again that you would hear him out when he comes to you. Listen to what he has to say. You never know. A lot of years has passed by, you know. We're all getting better. I have gotten better. You have gotten better. What if he has? You never know. Just hear him out. Please. 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 Okay. Can I go back to my food now? Please. I said, okay, can I go back to my phone? Thank you. Thank you. So can I go back? I have one last favor to ask. Okay, what is it again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here it is. Um, if I ask You to be my woman, would you say yes? Shut up, but say that again. If I propose to you, would you say yes? If that is a proposal, I'll say yes. I mean, yes! 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 I. Come on! It's okay, it's fine, I hear you. Come on. It's okay. Thank you. However, I am going to plan a proposal. Because I'm not just going to leave you for anyone. You're a good woman. You're beautiful. You're humble. I know. You're kind hearted. I know. <laughs> stop it, stop smiling like that. That was a joke, thank you. <laughs> thank you too. You've been wanting to eat, so how about? Um, yes, um, hey, I have. I have fed Kamala. And you're sure you wouldn't take it back because I know you're capable of doing such things. You know, I keep my promises, don't you? That's very true. You, know. <laughs> you never fail with me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you not eating? I'm just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Yes, who's this? Yeah, this is Chinedu Okafo. My classmate? No. The father of your child. Who, who gave you my number? When a masquerade flocks the wrong person, it goes out of its way to pacify him or her. I've called you so that we can see and discuss on how to sort this thing out once and for all. Listen to me. I am not going to have any talk with you. I have forgiven you. But please, don't you ever in your life call my number again. When your daughter comes of age, you can have a talk with her and then you two can settle amicably. As for me, leave me alone. Don't you ever call my number again. Listen, you need... Hello? 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 At least she picked and talked to you, even when she knew it was you that 
Step by step, she will calm down. They did forget that. That girl has bad mind. What will she say? Okay, Chinedu, I have forgiven you from the depth of my heart. And for real, like for real. When? But I told you she said that. From her lips, not from her heart. She hung the phone, you know. Every woman would do the same. Call her back later in the day. Send her test messages. Ah, you should know how to get a woman's mind. Look, I'm very sure she would definitely come down. Yes. Uh -huh. I think I've learned my lesson yeah, And I, I mean. want to set things right again <clears throat> Give me a second chance Just to write my hey, notes you. I'll I make it up to you hey, How are you? I'm not fine Why? What's the problem? You are the problem okay, sit, 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 sit Talk to me, sit Brother, please forgive Auntie Kate. You asked me to forgive my mother, and I did. Brother, she's a good person, and she has been very nice to me. Please forgive her. Auntie Kate and I are not quarreling, okay? We're we'll fine. I have forgiven her. Um, we're not quarreling. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Um, since you have forgiven her and you're not quarreling, please call her to come over so we can stay together. But what are we going to be doing? What you want to host us? <laughs> what? Brother, please. What? 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 Okay. What if she's busy? I mean, look. I'll, I, I'm sure she's busy. What are you doing? Wait. I'm gonna come on now. That's my fault. What are you doing? I'm a... Hello, Auntie Kate. Yes, it's me, Amarachi. Please come to the palace. Brother Amna, they wants to see you. Okay. Thank you. Did I ask you to say that? What if you don't? I didn't ask you to say that. No. But yeah, forgive me now. So it's okay. Well, yeah, but did I? Uh, <laughs> what have you done? Man? Huh? <laughs> Why are you so stupid? Come here. <laughs> what did you do that for? The days are far running, my friend. Mm. I can't wait for us to go for service and be posted in the same state. I don't understand. Why would you want them to post us to the same state? They tie our placenta together. Yeah, so you don't like it? It's not like I don't like it. I was just joking. It's a simple question now. <laughs> if you don't want it, no problem. I'll tell my uncle not to bother, so they will throw you in the funnel. I what, Mrs. Connection, don't be angry. I was only joking. Mm. Uh, please don't call that your uncle. Oh. Right. <laughs> By the way, I met a lawyer who said he would allow me to use his chambers in Enugu. Are you serious? Very serious. <laughs> wow. My friend, uh? my barrister at law. No, no, call the name with respect. Barrister IJ. Oh, sorry. Say it. Barrister IJ. Uh -huh. Say it very well. Barrister IJ. I'm my estate manager. Ah. Goodness. All you need to do is just holler me on the phone. Marissa IJ, you need to come over to the estate of manager right now so Aww. that we can do something together. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. This is so good and I'm so thankful to God. How are you? I'm fine. You look good. <laughs> but I'm Nandi. Auntie Kate is here. And you said you both are not quarreling. Yes, we're not. Um, we're not quarreling. Are we quarreling? 
Why are you lying to the little girl? I made a mistake. You refused to understand with me upon all my plea. You didn't even know about this. I was the one that told you, yet you judged me with my honesty. One name. Since Amarachi here has been used to tie up this relationship, please forgive her. Most times, when people say the truth to free their mind, let that truth not be used against them. Eh? Please. So many people are in terrible situations today for their truthfulness. We're alone because they are. Please. Kate, I did not use the truth against you. Just very hurt that um, that the seed I planted was terminated. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I regret everything I've done. I'm sorry. Please. Good woman, Kate. And so today I forgive you. In spite of everything, you kept coming here. In spite of my meanness towards you, in spite of the harsh words, in spite of the insults, you kept coming. Your love for me remained steadfast in spite of everything. You are indeed a good woman. The way that you have taken your marachi as your own also says a lot about you. There's a time heals wounds. Time has indeed healed this wound. I'm letting it go. And I'm saying that we can start afresh, if you will. Hmm? Yes. I want you to tell your father that the prince of Omucheke and his royal entourage will be coming to ask for your hand in marriage, for I would like for you to be my wife. Yes, I will. That's right, darling. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait a minute, Nadia. I still don't get this. I, I need you to break this down to me. Please. This person is a childhood friend. I actually went to the same school together. Um, you know, we're just... And we also belong to the same WhatsApp group, you know. We're talking someday on the phone and, you know, he heard Amara's voice and asked me, who the person was and being that he's an old time friend I couldn't lie to him so I told him the truth and it touched him you know and he said that I, that I should you know allow him be a part of her life and the mother's life I mean he, he said that to you just like that this person in question doesn't even know who I am why would he want to foot my bills well, according to him, he said that the story I had told him at the time was pathetic, you know, and that um, he's really moved and he really wants to be a part of your life, you know. And I kept asking why he said, you know, I mean, that you must have gone through a lot, you know, the rape, the pregnancy, how all of that had cut your dream short. And he wanted to invest in you and make sure that you get quality education. So he told me to allow him pay your school fees and send you gifts from time to time. It would interest you to know that this man actually refunded me. 
<laughs> um, but little I had already spent. I'm telling you, I'm serious. We have good people around, you know. This is be I mean, this is beyond being good. This person doesn't even know me. I, I need to know where this man is, at least to say a very big thank you to him. Please. You know, some people are really private. And you know, they say that when a good man does something, he does not have his name printed everywhere. I wouldn't sleep well if I don't get to meet this person. I need to see him and say thank you. I mean it to Namdi, please. I need to. You sure you want to see him? Of course I want to. He's busy though. He's a banker. Ah, always traveling and all, but I'll talk to him. I'll see how I can get him to come here and see you, and, you know, you two talk. What did I hear you say? Bring him here. Yes. I am talking about taking me to him. Myself, Mama and Amarachi. We need to go to him, kneel down and say thank you. This is someone who saw me through school. And you're talking about bringing him to my house? No, I need you to take me to him. I need to thank him, please. I feel I'm, I'm shocked. Just like that. Just like that. Jama, why are you not picking your call? Mama, I have warned this beast. I have warned this idiot, this son of a nonentity, to stop calling my phone. He has refused. The next thing I will do is to block his line. Hey! Jama, biggie Oronko. Go biggie, go biggie Ferafe. Go for a code. What is your problem? Who do you think you are? Eh? Prince have told you to forget about all this and move on with your life. Ocha Unezi, Imakechi Ekwechiri. Hey! Let me tell you, that young man is still the father of your child. He has come here several times to beg for forgiveness, for mercy. What is your problem? Eh? You never know. He may even ask you to marry him since he is the father of your child. Mama is taking I know. God forbid. God forbid. Come on, come on. Run and let me die. For what? Mama Biko. Biko. That is not the reason I called you. I called you here so that we can know what to do about what the prince told me. Concerning the man that has been helping me. That's the only reason I called you here. Drop this, this, this story now. I beg you. Hey! No, tell me who you resemble. It's not me now. Your late father was never like this. Maybe I couldn't marry. Because from my own, you couldn't know whatever, Gaba. My lineage. Nothing like unforgivable spirit. Mba. Hey. As for what you said about the uh, things, uh, 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 visit, we will go. That young man worth it. In fact, he worth more, more than his visit. I never knew that people with good hearts still exist. Mama, hmm. cha, 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 cha. now you are talking. Now you are making sense. These are the kind of men we should be talking about. Now call him Makoni. That idiot. We go, when are we going? I am happy that both of you are coming together again. And now that you are getting set for marriage, I want to advise that both of you learn how to accommodate each other, learn to tolerate each other, and live in peace. Namdi is not going to ascend the throne of this kingdom because the kingship of this kingdom rotates amongst villages. I have told him that on no account should he go into contest with anyone or track anything with anyone. Even if I'm dead or alive, he should not contest it. I want peace and harmony in the kingdom. Tell your father 
that I will personally come to see him before the wedding date proper. My son, you do not have to leave your blood outside like most foolish men do. That because they do not know the value of one's blood, one's child. Um, that's aside. I investigated and a reliable source told me that that child is in the palace. Yes, and one man has been paying her school fees, even that of her mother. Yes, um, and let me shock you. Do you know that Ijoma let her studied law? And as we are speaking, she is practicing as a lawyer, having gone to law school. Do you know that? Father, how did you get this information? <laughs> Have you forgotten that the king is my personal friend? A close member of the cabinet told me everything. But what I want you to do is do everything within your power to bring back your daughter. If the mother agrees to marry you, and that's better. But I doubt. Because the way she has been turning down your pleadings and all that, that marriage might not hold. Well, Papa, the thing is, I've, I've done everything humanly possible. I've tried so hard to even see my daughter, but, oh, you know, all my efforts have been proven abortive. Mm, it has not proven abortive. I want you to go to the palace, meet the prince, talk to him, man to man. He will allow you to see your daughter. And when you see your daughter, Try and make her to understand that you are her father. Eh? Um, while you are doing that, do not forget to plead with Ijoma to forgive you and forget. Hmm? Uh, it's all right, Papa. I will do exactly what you said. And that's good. Um, <coughs> But Papa, I gave you some money last week, just last week. Have you forgotten who your mother is? She took everything from me and converted it to her personal use. But I gave her two. I gave her two. Eh, have you forgotten women and money? Okay, Kube. Go broke. You you people spend money. I give you big money. I give you big money. A good amount of money. Just last week. Ah, but you know, your, your mother has a big problem. She took the money to solve her big problem. I trust you that when you come, you will recharge me. It's alright. I, I will shoot in some money to your account. Okay, ma. Thank you. But, Papa, did you say Joma read law? Oh, yes. Yes, hello, one. Okay. Yes, you said I should wait for your call by nine. I waited, I didn't see your call. Oh, no, you don't expect me to call because I'm on Kisi Kwado. Maybe you are in the midst of this and that, you know? <laughs> so, how did it go? Please, that's your own story. I don't want stories. One name. Emory is one name. One name. One So, what will you do? All right, bro. All right. That's good. Okay. All right. <sighs> Young lady. So? Nothing much, mother. 
Mm-hmm. Guess what? Okay, go on. Hmm. I went to see Joma this morning. Okay. She was so friendly that she listened to me. So, she's a lawyer. Father told me yesterday. Though I'm not surprised because she used to be very intelligent when she was with us. So, if she, you know, went to school and read law, that's good for her. So, what did she say? <laughs> she said she has forgiven you that there is no point in having grudges in her heart guess yes. what yes. she even promised to show me your daughter when next i come oh. Mm -hmm. oh, it's okay. <laughs> come on are you sure she said this to you yes now or you want me to call her because she gave me her number herself oh. Oh. I can get my phone from the room. Good news! Hmm. Don't worry about your phone. Oh my god! That means there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, a very big light. Oh. There is hope. Come on. There is hope, brother. We will soon be there. We are there. We are almost there. <laughs> My friends, I go there. No, 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 so I heard you. Please, please don't go. Please. 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 Sorry. Very sorry. Chinedu is my childhood friend. We've been friends uh, from my primary school days. We even went to the same secondary school. And then, of course, life happened. He had to find his path in life. I had to find mine, and he traveled. You know, but we kept in touch. We, we kept talking. And on one of those occasions, he, he heard Amarachi's voice over the phone and, you know, jokingly inquired if I, if I have a child and... I told him no. I told him how I met Amara and... Um, my story got him more curious and he wanted to know exactly who the mother is and I told him about you and the village, how I took the child from you, took her to the palace. He told me. But he knows who you are. And he admitted that he, um, he violated you. Something that he's not proud of. <laughs> Something that still haunts and hurts him. And he begged me to help him make amends with you. 
<laughs> he kept calling. He wanted to know how you were faring. He wanted to know what you were up to. How Marachi was doing. I assured him that Amara is in the palace with me. Hmm. I told him that your life was taking a good turn and he decided to be a part of it. I want you to know that he's the one that paid for your education. He kept sending money under my name to see that you get the best. He kept sending money under my name to take care of Amarachi here. He started playing his role as a father and I was quite moved. And so I gave him my word. But when the time comes, but when a day like this comes, I would bring him here so that you can please hear him out. Please. Pijama. I know. I know that I shattered your dreams. But I have to amend it. What I did was was very, very wrong. I did something that is unforgivable. But please forgive me. I know better now. I'm a changed person. I'm a better person. I'm at least I now know that bad friends can go a long way to influence someone in, in such a disastrous manner. But please, just find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm, I'm deeply sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. You mean he, he paid for my legal studies? Yes. He paid for everything from start to finish. Everything. Law school, everything. He paid. In the hopes that one day you would grant him audience and hear him out and find it in your heart to forgive him. Just like you have made a turnaround, he has also made a turnaround. Ijama, I give you my word. But Chini do. He's a better man now. Please. See if you can give this another chance. Please. I think I've learned my lesson. And I want to set this right again. Give me a second chance just to right my wrongs. I'll make it up to you. I forgive you. From my heart, I forgive you. And I also want to say thank you. Thank you for bringing back my dying dream. Thank you for everything. God bless you. Thank you. Look at Aunt Yudoka. She gives me food and buy for me clothes. She and Grandma will always save me anytime my mom is beating me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry for the past. I regret all my attitude. Please forgive me. Just give me a second chance. 
to right my wrongs. Please forgive me. I am sorry for the past. I regret all my attitude. Please forgive me. Just give me a second chance to right my wrongs. Oh. Auntie Doka, I, I don't know, but uh, please have this. Please have it. It's just a way of saying thank you for everything. Thank you for for everything. You say token of appreciation. God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. You're How am I supposed to know that saving and helping Amarashi will result to this? Thank you. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Before no man. Mekwano kachine kemara. Haji ziwa. Kwa nisi na nadi kachine kemura. Haji ziwa chi. Hey, mekwano kodo buna mora. Haji ziwa. Oh, hey, haji ziwa chi. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, amara chi. Oh yeah, oh uh, see what you detest, it's another person's prayer point, what you reject, another person will accept it, so don't you look down on anybody. Don't you take anybody for granted Everyone's a blessing, everything is a lesson Accept your fate and try to live on oh, Value everything you've got Try to value everything you've got Cause we're a treasure